So, with everything, really, I'm not here in the no. calm No one bites the dust. Dim, 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 dim. Let's see. As it was, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining. We have already lost someone. Who did we lose? They are back. So, first and foremost, thank you all very much for coming to this brand new emotionally charged module that's going to be so much fun. <coughs> With it, oh. uh, <laughs> numerous changes from every other module that I've done to date. Let's start with the obvious. I'm going to hide as many rolls as I can for the fun of it. you got to trust me, guys. you got to trust me. Secondly, oh, we have numerous people taking notes. That'll be fun. I uh, can't wait to hear all the big issues that arise from everybody's notes not quite making sense to each other. Thirdly, new players are... Uh, well, we, some of us do in fact know each other from other games, some of us are brand new to the game, so let's make things as friendly and nice as possible, even though I know we're not all assholes like me. Yeah. So, as it stands for how everyone else has been, let's... Be right back. Motherfucker. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Give me like 20 seconds. What well, fucking it makes you feel bad at... You couldn't wait! Is, is Scottish just make uh, kind of like foggy for anyone else? No, it's just you. It's the same? Define no. foggy. It's just you. So, yeah, it's a little more like uh, muffled. Who's it's, always, it's always the possibility that it's been too high in one of my 24 channels. <coughs> Self bread deprecating humor, there's your one. Get out. So, in the words of my RE teachers, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let's start. You all find yourself in the town of Vogler, to the north of the continent. You all find yourselves here, spread out, unbeknownst to each other, but for the same reason. You are here to attend the funeral of an old friend, Spin Greenshield. How you all came about here was rather odd. Some of you underwent trials of sorcery. Some of you travelling nomads. Some of you of other world of elderly descent and some of you is a bit more martial grouping one two three four five six or six here there's six there that's good as it were these all came to the town of vogler with vastly different stories some to yourselves a religious upkeep an encounter with a god some an encounter with some rather odd scaly winged creatures. You all came to town, gave your information to the people, and went about your day. Some of you are now situated outside of the tavern and the letter that you received. A letter stating that you will have lodgings in a small tavern known as the Brass Crab. Some of you have decided to take in the town. And for that, the people in the town, Melano, Baralas, Cosmo. Cosmo, as you have finished up your fishing, what do you wish to do? Well, I've had I've had done more fishing. Um, still doesn't quite understand how that works, but hey, oh, he give it a try. Um, he's going to head to the place that he was been told to go to, which is the uh, yeah, yeah. memory serve me, please. Oh no, my notes from last game were gone because you made a machine. Fuck. <laughs> the brass crab in. 
brass crab and don't worry. I, I forgot your bonds and everything else, my guy. I'm a fucking idiot, don't worry. Ah, <laughs> no worries. It's fine. We'll go we'll, we'll with it. Fuck it. Uh, the brass crab in, we'll, we'll, we'll go to there since I've been talking. Yeah. Uh, you do have movement or your token. Don't worry about buildings. You're like a titan from Attack and Titan, but also in the ethereal plane. Nothing will happen if you walk through someone's house. I assume this is the tavern since most yeah. people are there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As you rock on up. Oh, I open. Melano, you've been perusing the town. The looks of a strange blue man seem to catch your eyes. He caught yours. A passing glance, if nonetheless. However, what are you doing with your time right now? I'm slowly walking through the town. Maybe stopping by the marketplace to buy an apple. Just so I can get something to eat. And then slowly make to my way to the tavern as well. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll say in that time that you have been here. You, you've been here for a few hours. I would say maybe knock two copper off. Give yourself an apple. As part of your time in town, as you, I would say you, now you were actually first to show up, if I recall correctly, we've done your session zero first. Probably wander a bit about the, in the woods, like the little forests here. Yeah. Just in... You do wander around, you do see all manner of target practice and such for the small military encampment on top of the hill. It's mainly well maintained for the most part and also doubles as the town forest. <coughs> it's useful. It has, it, it's purpose built is the wording I'm looking for. <laughs> we head on to the brass crab. Let's finish things up with Baralas walking around trying to pickpocket. However, pardon me, as you have been, each every little swipe you try to make, it doesn't seem to go your way. It's either nerves or unbeknownst, but though you try, you don't get as far as making the swipe, as it seems just too risky. Is there anything else you wish to be doing at this time? I've just head to the brass crab. Okay. Then, as you do, head on towards the brass crab. In the weirdest, strangest cacophony of all things, I need to remove that token because that's the wrong character sheet, man. There we go. The strangest cacophony of all things. You all arrive. And the brass crab is a almost one by one in small groupings, to say the least. She's all look a rather mismatch around each other. You are ah, that's a window. <laughs> you all hail from a similarish background in that regard, as you can tell. The adventuring kin. How about now? We all, once more, for one final time, introduce ourselves to the entire party. Uh, let's just go in alphabetical order in terms of Discord. Melano. Ah, uh, M first. I thought it'd be B. <laughs> I start with B. I'm Baka. Hi. Um, well, as you're approaching the tavern you can see a life elf coming to the tavern as well her hair is very white almost a little bit silverish and very long like down to her under her butthole but sorry not butthole <laughs> just just butt. she's naked guys sorry it's canon I'm winging it! I'm winging it! Um, her eyes are pale lavender, you could say, or deep purple, whatever her emotions are. She has long elven ears and a weird 
purplish gem on her forehead, like like she was born like that or something. Not. And she's wearing like um, these intricate lace clothes, like like a dress, almost. She seems like a princess that doesn't belong here. Cosmo. You see Cosmo. Cosmo is a tall blue man. He has a bluish <coughs> skin with a purple hair, like a, a deepish purple that goes down just below his chin, so like just above his shoulders. He has a um, mark on his chin and over his eyes. You can't tell if the, the mark on his chin is hair or some sort of paint or maybe a scar. His ears, at a slight glance, you would think, oh, elven-like, but it's a bit too long for that, and they go up instead, and they protrude through the hood that he's wearing. A little, a, and a little further up again, uh, after that as well. Um... He has an orb in his hand that he seems to carry around that slightly hovers above his palm, and he seems to be playing with it and, and like throwing it from like left hand to his right hand, and he walks inside. His eyes are also, sorry, I didn't forget to mention, is a very bright blue. With that, the center is a like a like a sky blue, but the irises or the whites of his eyes are actually blue as well. He walks inside. Yeah. What the fuck is this book? It ain't the book I'm using for. I don't know that one either. Uh, dun dun dun, next up, how about we take on... Fane? Oh, um, Fane is an elf for all you guys now. He's, uh, a bit darker than... He's, I would say, tan. He has black hair. And piercing white eyes. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he looks for it with a stare of importance. He's draped in black robes that are inlaid with gold, and uh, he says nothing to you all as he step takes a step in. I'll open the door anyway. Next up on the list, uh. His character is not there, I've just realised it. <laughs> uh, Highlander, Baralas. The missing uh, link. Well, <laughs> uh, well as Baralas is quite tall and slim, and he, as he walks in, he's very uh, careful of where he steps as he's looking around. Um, you can see he's got a lot of scars on his face. He looks quite... Um, unwelcoming to anybody that kind of comes near him and he's got big like shadows around his eyes with blue eyes with cracks of yellow coming through them uh so he just kind of walks over to any wall to his back and kind of leans on it cool. then hit ourselves with renard the yeah, tall Human, imposing figure, tending, well, since you're all European mostly. It's two <laughs> meters tall, six foot six for us Americans. Black hair, short, finely chromed beard, his piercing, frosty blue eyes show a little warmth. Uh, the visage of that is of, is of a predator. Slightly furrowed brow, serious expression that doesn't appear to know many smiles. Skin is tanned for many years of being outdoors, training and traveling. It's a muscular frame and carries himself with a quiet self-confidence. Nothing about him betrays any sense of arrogance or superiority, but also no hint of doubt or meekness. Overall, a very intimidating presence. Then... Last, but certainly not least, Exodus. <laughs> Tepler. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing that one time. 
laughing that one time. So, let me, let me ask you a quick question. Are, is worshipping the old gods illegal, or is that like a paying homage type thing? Do people do that still? When you say the old gods, you mean the gods of Kren? Uh, I believe... Oh, wait, is that the only guys there, there is in the setting? Completely different world, completely different yeah, manner of space. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's no there's no saloon there's no shard there is however paladine and solani and seron and Takis. different pantheon yeah the pantheon completely differs okay so um, walking in is this about. Six foot two figure clad in these very ornate uh, white robes and armor. Uh, the the edges are hymns. Uh, speaking of the pantheon and paying homage to certain aspects of it, um, he remains relatively quiet. However, it does speak up. On occasion, just making random conversation with uh, passerbys. Okay. You wish to learn about Alon Zin. Couldn't help him, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's all about a good laugh here, man. We're all about a good laugh, don't worry. <laughs> As you walk, meeting here in the middle, and you rather. Strange and odd place. Why am I hearing music that I shouldn't be hearing? What? Okay. It's the voices in your head having a dance. <laughs> Students, all stand here in this rather large building. You hear the quaint, quiet clamorings of people, and as you look in the window, you can see it is a quiet, sullen place. However, Sitting at the bar, rather un. Uh, rather out of place, if you will, is a woman clad in armor. See, she seems to dr just be drinking from her. drinking from a cup or such. As she does, Renard, you notice that she wears the armor. Of a Sulmanic knight, similar to the armor of your order. What do you wish to do? I will approach her. Fucking doors, man. Fucking doors. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doors. We never, we never fix this problem for any campaign. Why do I have a twin? Oh, I pulled you out twice. Fuck, I didn't realise I had someone sitting on you. My apologies. Unless you like women sitting on you, you know, in that case, no judgement. It's a changeling, it's a changeling! <laughs> yeah. That's her I'm standing next to now? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Hi. <laughs> Uh, make sure I'm not being rude and interrupting anything, but uh, introduce myself to her. Say hello, I am Renard. Newly knighted Knight of the Crown. I'm at your service. She turns. She looks. Ah, oh, uh, hi. I am Becklin, the knight commander of this town. She kind of looks, she kind of unsure of her place, uh, but you can tell she's the highest ranking guard in this town simply by her armor that you know to be the Order of the Crown. Sort of variant. She kind of looks. So, um. What brings you here? Cosmo, Cos Cos like, um, looks at, like, all the people that he walked in with and was like, Yeah, it's following me, or we all coincidentally come into the bar to get a drink at the same time. 
I tell her sadly, okay. I'm here for the funeral of a friend. Mm, same here. I'll be attending. I received your letter <coughs> about the passing of Ispen Greenshield. You know, looks at her eyes widen and places her glass down. Ah. And he kind of looks. <coughs> Would I be correct in assuming that they're with you? She kind of points to all of you. I believe we might be here for similar reasons. We'll sit down at the bar. I have met briefly not all of these, but I know them not from my past. Uh, we are all strangers at this point. I am here for Sir Greenshield as well. Uh, I'm starting children. to see a theme. Oh. <laughs> well, I did send out a few letters. Well, thank you for coming. Um, I can see by yourself you are part of the order. Um, a word of warning. We're not necessarily liked around here. Um, I just happen to get on very well with everyone, but for the most part, um, don't you know, place our hand on your shoulder. Don't try to throw around any form of rank. Uh, they'll chase you out of town before they listen to you. Oh man, that is not my place in this in this town. I'm at the moment at your beck and call. I have needs to speak with you, perhaps on an official matter later. But I won't disturb you now with official matters while you're That's... relaxing. You were one of the ones who were talking about all those creatures that were attacking people outside. You guys have saw you. You all saw them too. Yeah. Describe them. Um, big scaly creature had wings. Kind of looked like a frog if it was mixed with a lizard. Big wings. Yeah. Yeah. Were those creatures as they arrived to the city? You did not have an encounter. You did not encounter these. Would I have heard? Would I have heard about the encounter? Everyone can assure that within an hour of each other, though you were first, the news wouldn't have travelled as fast. Um, you may have heard of the creatures they are speaking of in that regard. However, only more is fleeting tales of fancy or mm. rumour, hearsay more than anything else. Objection. Okay, mm. okay my joke goes nowhere. <laughs> it's two for two, Matthew. <laughs> uh, I, I got it, I'm just not laughing at you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hate you. Yeah, I know. I hate me too. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, it seems a few different people have caught eye of these beasts, abominations, whatever you would like to call them. Yeah, watch. Well, we're not here for this right now, but um, I will do. Is she gonna raise her hand? The woman at the bar comes to a rather older looking woman but still you know let's see early 40s for certain she kind of looks yes um get them oh something it's been a long travel on me because she watches she starts to kind of fill in large sort of anchors down and Places a bottle on there as well. But it's um, um, sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. As you stand, I forgot her name. Becklin. She stands. Becklin looks. The funeral send off will be at dusk on the pier over there. It's gonna to point to the door. You do see people kind of murmuring and lolling around. On the side you see a small boat, no much bigger than a rowboat, 
adorned with flowers and wraps over it, suspended in care. So, uh, enjoy yourselves for now. Mm. And so um, when you're ready, just let me know. Yes? <clears throat> I was um, told there'd be accommodations. Is there room yeah. for uh, us to stay for a uh, night here? Uh, yes, there's, um, there's a single over there and over there. And then these are triples. Uh, single beds, unfortunately, but privacy, privacy, uh, keep it down, keep it down. First come, first serve. Keep it down, keep it down. Oh, there's not a single. Ooh, I... ah. Walks into the single room. This one's walking over. Goes inside. Fuck's gonna... sake. Just gotta go. The door. <laughs> Not behind the table. Dead! Close the door. Who said Chevrolet was dead, guys? Sorry, where was the other single at? Uh, What's chivalry? I don't know what chivalry is. Over here. <laughs> this door and this door. So there's so many, huh? There's so many things. Oh, yeah, there, there is a lady with us, isn't there? I guess one of the guys got a dorm up. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's th there's three beds in here. Crazy. Yeah, I, I get the single room. Yeah, I have the right. Uh, Fane's gonna walk over to her. I'm gonna say, uh, since you are the only lady here, I'll give the room over to you. Then go over there. My point. Thank I'm you. Go get you the trip. You have to with the sausage first. I'm getting real. And Fane's just gonna <laughs> lay back on this bed here. As Becklin, I assume by her presence, there's a a keep of the knights in town. Um, to the north, by the by the gate, as you came in, uh, on top of the I want to say chasm on the western side. Uh, we barrack there. Is there accommodations for me for the night? As a knight? The, um, yes, there is. However, I'll be honest, not as good as it is in here. No. You know, 40 men bunked tip to, you know, head to toe, head to toe, or, you know, your own bed. Is there a key for this room? It's what now? No! That's the easiest the shot. It's the key for the room. As we're a room short, and I'm a knight of the order and used to such accommodations, I'll I'll stay at the keep and I'll each of these travelers have their own room. Of course. Of course. Uh, if you go there, they will gladly um, accommodate you for the night. Um, do you know I was going to say, and I've just realised because I absolutely sped through the sheet. Um, Cosmo, please yeah. tell me, please tell me you remembered what your proficiencies were. I already put it. Thank you very much because I just threw through all to speak. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dwarvish and Elvish for the extra two languages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, A, B, C, D, Dwarvish, Elvish. And the third magical one that may come into effect later, who knows? Oh, maybe. As she kind of looks, make sure that there will be a com. You, you would be welcome to the accommodation there. She raises a glass and takes a drink from it and please sit down. Uh, Excuse me? Yes. Is there a key for the room or is it just locked to see if no one comes in? It locks from the inside. Yeah, we can lock the Cool. It would, it would be kind wanna... of weird if it locked from the outside, wouldn't it? Well. I don't know if it's uh, weird to think of a lock that you can 
lock from the outside and just keep the lock with you? Is that weird to think of? Not the lock with you, the key with you. I get what you mean. It would be weird for that yeah. one. There so is... This is in character Cosmo being like, is that not normal? <laughs> mm. I think it's um, nothing to worry about, friend. Okay, I'll do that. Well, let's see for the flavor. Doors pull and pull open. <laughs> Just so that way it locks. By the way, you see where I'm standing? The door is out of reach. <laughs> I have to stand here to open and close the door. Didn't make these maps, I just bought them. <laughs> Actually, didn't oh, even fuck. buy them. Oh, I bought fuck. them. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 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 I'm gonna take away door, per door permission soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't do it on purpose. <clears throat> and she gonna place this down her mug. Um. <clears throat> The funeral will be in about 30 minutes or so. Take your time, maybe have another drink. It's up to yourself. Start ritual casting along. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> what time would it be right now? Uh, it's about 6 pm. Mm. Okay. Uh, Fane's just gonna sit on the uh, side of his bed there, and uh, he got a piece of jewelry. He's gonna look into. Hmm. Take a deep breath. So, as as we are right now, as Becklin is walking outside, what is everyone else doing? Anyone want to say a cool trick? Talking to the people in this door. <laughs> just, I'm talking just in general. <laughs> no? Like, sure, it's not appropriate to do something like that if you don't. Okay, who, who said that? Mm -mm. We talked about the encounter with the... Uh... Who's all in the room with me again? Uh, in your room, you have Baralus and Exodus funneling off your Session Zero group. Uh, we know each other. How are you, Renard? Um, I'm well. I'm having the music scotch, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you mentioned that you had a run-in with some strange creatures as well? Yes, I did. It was quite peculiar. Where were... Uh, where did you run into them? Um, on the way here, now a forest, in some sort of forest, and uh, they attacked a car and ripped through metal armor like a knife through water. It was quite <sighs> gruesome scene. Well, I it was is... Isn't this the... Are we the group that know each other? Scottish? Yes, yes these are. Yeah, I, I thought so. <laughs> like, we, we, we went through the same thing together. I'm talking to different people. You are in a room? He's talking, talking to me. Now. I was talking to Renard. So you uh, you saw them as well, Renard? I did. They had attacked the caravan south of here. Nice. Yeah, something similar happened to me. Uh, uh, Cosmo, by the way. That Cosmo's my name. I'm Renard. Night My full name is Cosmo. Feel free to call me Cosmo or Cos, whatever you feel. Well met, Cosmo. Well met to you as well. I am not great with tradition here. So, um, if there's some sort of greeting that I'm supposed to do and I don't do, forgive my ignorance. No, oh, it's, it's fine. Alright then, well... I believe that whatever happened after my encounter with um, those creatures, I learned a new ability. Would it, do I have permission to try that out? It's nothing harmful. On me? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, I don't know how it works just yet, and I, I would like to test it out. Do I look like a lab rat? <laughs> no, but you look like someone with high constitution. What would this ability? 
It pale. won't. It will make you. Your weight will change a little bit. I'm a little sketchy. We've just met, and you're asking to alter my person. Well, it's, it's, all, it's all fun, and he does it anyway. And you now feel half as you you feel really really light. Um, your I believe let me the ability up real quick to make sure I know what I'm doing. He just does it anyway because he was like, oh, it's nothing bad. You won't mind if I do it anyway. Um, your speed increases by ten foot. You can jump twice as far, and you you have half the way as, as you was before. So you feel super light. Interesting. Oh, what, an, uh, what an odd uh, sensation. What changed? I don't know what it does. Well, that and that's seems... for how long? Uh, a minute, and I can do it as many times as I want. Seems like that uh, make them handy. And there's also no saving throw. So, so, but how long is that for? A minute. Oh, a minute. This is, is that the adjust density? Yeah. Yes, it is. I'm trying to roleplay my character learning. Whoa, I just got a new ability. Let's try it out in some way. Okay, I'm uh, glad that that didn't go sideways on us. Cool. Uh, thank you for helping me out. He gives, he, he goes into his, like, um, like a pouch that he has, just grabs a handful of whatever coins that it was in there, and just tries to give it to you and goes, here you go. This is what people do when you get things from other people, right? Uh, it's not necessary, but thank you. Okay. You say um, uh, you had other companions during this encounter? Were you able to in engage with these creatures at all? You had like three gold, by the way. Um, no, I um, we I saw about four or five of them, and uh, we thought it best not to try and fight five against two. So we kind of tried to stay hidden, and they eventually flew away. Let's see which direction they flew. I wasn't <clears throat> paying enough attention to watching where they went, more to try and stay out of their sight. Okay. And you said this was in the woods? It wouldn't? For... Yes, I believe so. Okay. Thank you for the information. I'm gathering news from my order, so... That's quite helpful. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to go around without at least saying something. I can help yeah. in the way I would like to. <laughs> I'm glad you uh, were unharmed. Seems they are quite formidable. They are indeed. As uh, you were talking, his hair underneath the hood like moves a little bit, and a um, a ferret kind of moves across his shoulder, and it his head its head pokes out, and he just like pets it gently. The purple ferret. Purple ferrets. Mm. Purple hue, anyway, with oh. some whites. I f forgot to. There you go. <clears throat> you now have control of the token as well. Thank you very much. And this is the cute little guy. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, um, I, I feel like uh, we should familiarize ourselves with the other. The group that walked in with us, if you would like to go with me and talk to them. I, I believe that multiple people reported things about creatures today when I, I, I told the gods about it, so they might know something as well. Try and ask them. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's let's do that. Let's go. Oh my god, so that's the happening. Left room. Exodus, Parlous, Fane, as they have been talking, what have you been doing? Good chat, guys. Great chat. See, so you I've see just... that wall across from me? At the, I'm, I'm, look, I'm staring at the door. Mm -hmm. That's, that's literally. He's just waiting for the time for the funeral. He's not saying nothing. Nothing to say. Checked out. You mean? <laughs> Yeah, he's just relaxing after that long ass journey. Bottles. Anything you've been doing in this time? Just tightening up my bowstrings on my bow. Not speaking to anyone. 
very determined room. Fiend, furiously masturbating. <laughs> He's muted, so that could be yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, uh, I was speaking that entire time. I was a uh, guy with guy with paper with this edge. Fane's gonna jump and turn his head toward uh, the guy that just walked into the room. Hello. Unannounced? Uninvited? Indeed. Yes. Hello. Can we help you? Yes, you can. Um, have any of you interacted with strange creatures or uh, anomaly or danger when you were here? Some sort of event that might have been bad mm. dragon like beast uh, it's a dragon you've never heard of the stories no um dragons are weakened creatures huge fight they fly through the sky uh i don't know how to explain them to you usually you learn these things a child it was quite mm. fascinating Nothing seems to ring any bells, but you did see something. Imagine a big <coughs> lizard. Big lizard. I think I saw something similar. How how did that event occur with you? They um, they attacked a carriage. Um, Are we all thinking about the same carriage? Because three of us have been talking. I saw a carriage attacked by them. Reddit saw a carriage attacked by them, and you saw a carriage attacked by them. Could have been. Was it, was it the there. same car? I doubt it. Mine was a no, caravan it. of caravan my wagons. This is kind of <clears throat> Well, mm. we have one thing in common: is that we, I, I believe, we all knew uh, Green, correct? How did you know, Sir Greenshield? Um, we met after a, a circumstance happened, and I was and I came here from a distant place, and he helped me get accustomed to, well, more accustomed to this place than I was previously, and helped me ground myself a little bit in this community. Thanks. How about yourself? Um. Uh, Sir Greenshaw would visit my family a lot, uh, but my homeland. He's a he's a dear family friend. Respect. Yeah, awesome. uh, taught me a lot. Lit the fires in my heart of being an adventurer. I'm here. I see. Well, the events that have occurred have been great. Let's hope we can keep him in all of our memories respectful. Hopefully. I don't intend to forget until the day I die. Well, we still have plenty of daylight to burn. Indeed we do. Can you gamble at all? Well, I believe the funeral will be starting soon. But it's it's supposed to be starting tomorrow at dusk. No yes. time soon. I, I believe the next day is relatively soon. Either way, I would like to introduce myself. Introductions should be made, at least. My name is Cosmo. Or Cosmos is my full, full name. Um, you can call me Cosmo, or you can call me Cos, or anything. With. Continue to at least become an acquaintance of all as you were one of you. May I inquire your names? I am, uh... My name would be Fane. Fane. And these are my companions. They also have an attachment for, uh, Sir Greenshaw. I see. Well, I assume you can speak for yourselves. Could I ask your name? Uh, one clad in armor. Clad in what? I'm talking to Exodus. I'm basically asking yep, your name I, by describing what you look like. Uh, just... Exodus will do fine. Uh, Exodus. Unique name. 
We all wear masks. Are you wearing a mask? Yes. Oh, I'm not wearing one. Okay. Does does uh, I did your name? You strive to be Exodus, or is it? I don't believe my people use names similar to your these common in these lands use names. And is just gonna walk out of this uh, awkward situation. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like it, it's like it, it's a religious thing. Ah, I see. Uh, my people names are given when we realize what goal is in life or objective we achieve we wish to achieve, which gives it a little bit more meaning. So I assume from the get-go, Exodus was, or you know names was. people have, no, was something that we shy. But, but I believe that's incorrect, and I have been assuming incorrect. Thumbs it up. Fire. Sort of. Oh, yeah. Like, okay, well, I apologize for my, um, and then and make things awkward. So, I'm still trying to learn about this place. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, I appreciate the leniency. When's the, when's the funeral again? When was the funeral again? I tomorrow. Think half an hour. Yeah, I thought it was half an hour, and I heard tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I also thought it was half an hour, but then someone else said tomorrow. I thought it was tomorrow at dusk. No, it was half an hour. Ooh. Note taken, level one. <clears throat> Apologies, girlfriend came in. Um, so. Is the funeral in half an hour or tomorrow? Beckland said, Beckland said half an hour. After yeah, that, okay. that's a that's just arrive and get to the funeral. That's yeah. I that's really why I said that soon to you when we were speaking. He was like, "Ah, it's more like oh, okay." <laughs> I must prepare myself for the funeral, and uh, by, yes. by doing such, he would just like remove the mask that he has on. It's just revealed that he's just a uh, human, a brown-haired human. Like just the just a normal plain like uh sort of sort of like you ever watch the Justice League T V show, animated T V show when uh the question has his mask removed and it's just like he's just some guy. He's just some uh, regular dude wearing a weird mask. Cosmos <laughs> looks at you and goes Is it disrespectful to say that I'm disappointed that you look so normal? <laughs> I was expecting some sort of defect or like some sort of cursed veins or scar, maybe missing an eye, but just rather normal. It's just some guy. Eyeballs kind of look like blueberries and I want to eat them. Mine? Yes. I uh, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Are you saying that I'm tasty? Yeah, sure. I don't know how to take this. Okay, okay, well... Should I also wear a mask? I don't know how welcome people are here. Or is this just a religion thing again? It, alright. Listen. Right, I... Listening. I'm, I'm asking questions because I don't, I'm not knowledgeable. To be respectful at a funeral. I don't actually yes. want to eat your eyeballs. I don't... Really... I, I would. I just. I wouldn't make fun of the fact that you're blue, but that's just like low-hanging fruit. You can so, do what you do what you wish. Low-hanging blueberry fruit. Yeah. But yeah, let's just let's just keep moving. Let's go to the funeral. Okay. Well, I apologize if I said something disrespectful. No, no, no. It's it's more the fact that this is drawn on so long. Okay. Well, goodbye. Hello, other person. You follow. Hello. What is your name? Morales. Now let's go. Nice. Nice. nice to meet you. My name is Cosmo. Short and do the point. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Rangers, am I right? Right. 
until they're forced to be in charge. <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> Let's see, she's all gathered around this small area as everyone looks. You watch as preparations take place as you watch as Becklin and this rather odd looking woman whose photo doesn't show up for like another four chapters but she's here apparently guys <laughs> yeah I know right who'd have thought that <laughs> crazy as you stand there they all take place both what is this hmm? what is this blue thing over here Am I supposed to be saying that? You see what you see. Okay. As Becklin and this dwarven woman take this rope. They look at each other. Bad ambience. Those who were closest to Ispen gather on the dock overlooking the Vingard River. There body rests in a small boat, wrapped in a shroud. A musician plays a soft song as Declan steps forward to look. In her ornate armour she smiles, looks at everyone, and her voice carries clear across the water. You all knew Espen as a friend, and there were none like him. Before he died, he told me this. There should be tales and not tears for an old scoundrel like me. Make sure everyone knows my stories when I head off to the great adventure above them all. Eklund nods. The villagers carry everything forward to the dock's edge where both Cudgel and Becklin slowly start to lower the body into the water. So, let's do that. She looks and see tiny vessel drifts out into the river. On the eve of the King Fisher Festival, we celebrate you, Ispen. Good travels, friend. Until we meet again. With that, the boat carrying the body drifts down the river and eventually out of sight. After a moment, back on turns. She looks, and she nods. Though this is a simple affair, it's still quite crowded. And she's all moved slowly back into the room. There's a small spread out of local ales, bread, and just light snacks. Everyone here makes jovial and fun comments and remembers their times with Ispen. She is all lit. Um, yeah. Uh, just before we went, like went back inside. Um, after everyone started leaving, you see Cosmo that's just on the dock on his knees, putting his hands like through the gaps in the wood, trying to grab his ferret out of the water when it fell in. <laughs> just gonna grab his ferret out of the water, reaching between the fucking floorboards. It takes a while, but he eventually gets it out of the water. 
I was like, let's have him make a dexterity check as he's walking through, and I said it 15 in my head, and he fell through. As Sorry. he's all stands, a small sort of podium is brought out as Beckland stands upon it, looks. He said, no tears. So, let's share some fun memories. I remember this one time by a campfire some befuddled old man came through. It's been sat with him for most of the night and entertained everything he said everything he was saying they shared stories and the whole night felt rather weird the next morning the old man was gone and nothing was taken we thought it was rather odd till it's been told me about the one solemn little piece of information this old man had given him. And it was odd because it made no sense. He said, The sky is like the sea. And to me at first that was odd. But in the end we all take adventures either in the sky at the end or in the sea for fun. And I still don't quite make sense of it all, but it is, it is what it is. <laughs> is anyone else got any other light fun stories they wish to tell? Anything at all, just share a memory. In some support. Uh, where's the podium? Let's just see here. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Growing up, Sir Greenshield visited my family frequently, and he used to tell the most riveting adventure stories and for a child like me that was the world and now following in his footsteps I have seen the amazing things that he uh, used to tell me it's it was really a blessing to have him here and that's that's the whole thing what it's like He's gonna step back. So, uh, anyone else have anything else they wish to say? I'll step forward this time. Like, where's the podium? Like, just over here? Let's just see here. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna okay. step forth and everyone takes a little. Everyone takes a little look. Espen and I met when I first arrived to this planet, and Mozarta decided to stay alone for quite a foreseeable fu for future. So imagine my surprise when one day this human arrives to my grade, and five minutes after we both realized we didn't speak each other's language, the odd human decided to take that upon himself. And of course, I couldn't get rid of him, no matter how hard I tried. And I did. I wanted to be alone. He didn't let me, though. He dragged me to life, kicking and screaming if he had to, and he did, sometimes. I have never been more grateful for him. It was Ispin who made me live again, made me see that life still had some meaning. And now he's gone as well, and I don't feel the need to become a hermit once more. And I'm grateful that he helped me see that being alone is not a good thing. It just leaves you thinking about all the bad things that happened, and not the good ones. Thanks to Ispin, I can now think of good memories instead of just the bad. And this is what I'm going to do when I think of him as well. 
I will not think of his death, but rather his life and what little I had the opportunity to enjoy with him. I will fondly remember the time when he was teaching me how to fish in a nearby river, and my hook caught his shirt and almost made him fall into the river. I will fondly remember the time when he listened to my story and bonked me over the head and told me not to be an idiot by wanting to join my loved ones. I will always remember Ispin, for he was the first friend I've met here, and thanks to him, I'm sure he won't be the last one. Goodbye, Ispin, my friend, and enjoy whatever comes for you next. Who knows, maybe a death is not just the end, but the start of the gr next great adventure, and I'm sure we'll meet each other once again, though hopefully not too soon, so I can tell you all about my own bountiful adventures on your planet. And I move away after... Someone more perception check. Face. Okay. Anyone? Anyone? I. Whoa! Off to a great start. We are on both ends. <laughs> you note this entire time is people are moving up. Hi, uh, John. I was rather preoccupied with telling my eulogy. <laughs> That's right, uh, where did... <coughs> hmm, that was odd. Oh, second. Oh, there we go. All good there, John? Yeah, I lost... Lost the uh, audio there for a little bit. I noticed you weren't even in the session either. I don't know what happened, my... My computer had a glitch for a second. Everything went black. That's right, man. So we'll see. Just right now, as it is. He's not... He's on watches. People have been up and telling their story. Though, everyone is nodding along. One miscreant in the crowd has been... For the most part, just... Drinking. And... Occasionally, just... Doesn't seem to be in it at all. As another person goes up and tells their story, as they're talking, you just hear. <sighs> ah. Not shocks. Most people seem to murmur. Shane's gonna just stare at daggers. As they continue. Here, after a brief moment. You're telling it worse than he did. We've heard this a thousand times. You know what? As everyone seems to glare at the man in the corner. You Looks like he... They really managed to draw a dick, didn't they? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> they... Looks like Draco Malfoy. <laughs> He drew a right fucking dick for this one. <laughs> it's the it's the child king from Game of Thrones plus Draco Malfoy. <laughs> Not Draco Malfoy, Joffrey. I spat all over the book. What the fuck? <laughs> it's both of them combined, Joffrey and Draco. <laughs> oh, is he? What she watches? People are still giving their stories, and every so often. This man seems to interject, slowly swelling drink and occasionally going in, coming back with two more and drinking it. Every so often as he takes a sip, his face seems to sour for all mannerisms. This person is essentially pig ignorant, making a mockery of the entire service. Fane's gonna get up from his feet and take a few steps over to him. Stepping through uh, the people who came here with him. He's not going to ignore this. He's here. He's going, he's going to step over and uh, give him a shove. He's gonna be like, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me, what's wrong with you? 
Oh, what do, you not, do you not know that you're making a blatant mockery of this man's funeral? I'm only here for the free drink, friend. Uh, then yeah. go inside and do that. Not here. Oh, it's the point of a sordid affair. So tiresome and boring. Diving up. After all, you don't really have much taste in ale. I'm here because it's free, and now I'm here for a show. Make a persuasion check. Yes, sir. Or intimidation, either or. I'll do persuasion. <laughs> See burps right in your face. Can I, uh. Yes. I'll do it. Can I do silvery barbs on that? What was that? Can I do silvery barbs on that? Silvery barbs is to impose disadvantage. Silvery barbs uh, is you use it to re roll the d20 and take the lower number. This man got a 1. It says you magically decide the target creature and then, and then turn into a turn and turn into a quadrant for another. You magically control. distract the trigger of the teacher, the triggering creature must re roll oh, well, yeah. and use the lore. Damn it. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I thought of it as a different one. Damn. I tried. <laughs> I'll uh, walk on over and whisper and say, clearly, you have further issue with our beloved friend. Uh, you have something on your chest. Why don't we go into the tavern so you may speak your truth? Respectfully. Because now I'm here for the show. And, well, the show seems to be winding down. Also, look at you. It's got hats you on the shoulder. You think I'd go anywhere with you? Look at you. If I saw you walking down an alley, I'd turn the other way. As would anyone else, even in broad daylight. <laughs> be really fucking ugly to be wearing a mask. He watches he keeps swirling and drinking. Can I um try and certainly make the drink super heavy? <laughs> While he's trying to take a drink verbal, of it. The verbal thing? Is that somatic I think? Verbal? It's just a feature. Um, yeah it's just a feature. Okay. As an action you magically alter um one creature, 30 feet. So, uh... I believe it can do it on objects as well. Yeah, that doesn't read right at all. <laughs> um, the weight of one object or creature you can see, um... I'm trying to make the fucking cog really heavy as he's trying to drop drop in his face. Half they're doubled, so... You doubled. know, a, a double in a paint is not going to make it any much heavier. I'm just trying to make fun of this stupid ability that I got me alone. So you give it that and you watch as his hand seems to jut down. So he brings it up some more. Damn. Oh, he's going. This ability isn't as fun as I thought it was before he says to himself. So you watch as he starts beckoning his way. On you go. Ta-ta. Toodaloo. Bye-bye for now. A question. Yes. And a request. By all means. This is in character. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant to me, but oh, you know what? When you go through puberty, find me so I can kick your ass. Make an intimidation check. Hell yeah. 15. So you watch as he looks. This sad sound can't take a joke. <laughs> he sort of puts the cup down and walks away. 
My father will hear of this. Tell your father about your yes haircut. I'm not a <laughs> 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 Oh, it's beautiful. You just just look to the others and let the funeral go on for whatever time it has left. As everyone else kind of makes their way back inside, and I get to move all the tokens around. Don't mind the lady walking through walls. Shit happens all the time. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks, normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, you know, after this all occasion is, it seems to arise the people. As one person comes to you, of course it doesn't give me their fucking. Is this who I think it is? Yes, it does. The woman from earlier comes. I would. I don't think it actually gives me a thing for her now that I think about it. Do I even get an image of her at all in this damn book? I don't think I do. Oh well. No wait, I must because there's a fucking image there. I'll find her eventually. Apologies. But. As you watch this woman, a rather shorter women I believe she is yes a dwarven woman of dark hair and dark hair and dark skin hair kind of tied back as she you know comes to us thank you for dealing with that it's uh this tasteful to say the least however Caris and his father. Healthy creatures. That's a token, that's kind of who you're talking with right now. <laughs> Care to elaborate? It's, uh, they think they're on the town. Like, they honestly think the town and the mayor's to their beck and call. Honestly, it's... No. Looks... Disgusting. Di Ugh. It's gonna shut us. It's gonna looks... So, ah... Uh, he is... Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. Um... Ridomir... Cudgel... Iron Smile. And you, are. Go by Exodus. Sup, Cosmo. Anyone else want to introduce themselves, or just me and Exodus? Through credit teeth thing was going to say. Okay, back. Just gonna. Looks. I'm Melino. Pleasure. Hi. Hi. So we... we plan tomorrow. I'm not sure about yourselves. I will see, but we plan to take part in the uh, excursion tomorrow, the reenactment of the Battle of High Hill. It should be fun. Yeah, so where, where have you all come from? Have you travelled far? Just from a late somewhere. Um, ve very far. Um, Spain is coming all the way from Elven territory. Huh. I come from quite a ways away as well. How far is the military outpost that we came from, or the military can be base? Fucked. Well, let's 
Let's see. God damn it. I have a map. I had a map. I had a map. God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, Venom's com comes from even further away. <laughs> I am gonna take a note of everything in the book. <laughs> Just so I can be like, DM, could you pull up something I know that was like 200 pages in the past? <laughs> it's very hey. detailed. Please. Let's see. It's in a place called Guan. Oh no, it's Guam. Yep. Yeah. She's gonna look so. I'm from Keelan. Wait to South Sea. What thing's gonna The Wolven region, you know. As it were. Been here a little while now. Ah, uh, I suppose I'm kind of a bit of a mercenary. I've my own little group and everything. The Ironclad Regiment. It's yeah, small, but got a reputation for beating the odds. And any friend of Ishpin and any friend of Becklands. Definitely a friend of mine. As you do. And looking around, Finn, you notice, as you all pointed her out, and rather odd, but as you take a look, <coughs> you notice the blue woman is of elven descent. She's rather somber. She kind of kept the fringes. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Get to the fringes of the entire uh, funeral, if you will. Didn't really interact. And she walks around, everyone keeps an eye on her. But she doesn't really interact with anyone else. Let's see. She looks like this. <clears throat> another blue person. <clears throat> nice to meet another. <laughs> you know, looks and nods. Let's see. Spend some time. Let's see. Party seems to start winding down. Oh. And soon left are only the knights. As she does. As it does, and it looks. Eventually, Cudgel looks at his. Comes to. I have a favour to ask, if it's not too much. What would that be? Um... Could witches be willing to take part in joining me up at Thornwall Keep? Just Is that what they're having? Just, just tomorrow, uh, just as the celebrations kick off until about midday. Mm -hmm. She's a travelled far and, well, she's our friend, so it'd be a small private get together, if anything else. Sure, um, my pleasure. Sure. A lot of people said a lot of things at the same time, and I heard a lot of people <laughs> say. I said a lot of people say sure, but I also heard a other stuff. Uh, what was the other stuff that wasn't sure? Um, my pleasure. 
sure. I'm intent. Just going <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I feel like I wasted your time there to apologize. <laughs> she does. Uh, yes. Thornwall Keep. Thornwall being one word. Thank you. Just double checking. As is watch as the rest of the night wanes down before one by one everyone else seems to vanish. <laughs> you mean vanishes is just like way. I thought you meant vanishes in like <laughs> like just just <laughs> just poof. I was like, huh? You mean this woman? Uh, no, the, the dick. Oh. He, uh... Barakis the Younger. Uh, I can't spell. It's alright. Uh, Cosmo will tell you. Scottish. What's up, babe? Can you add Mage Hand, Eldridge Blast, and Hex to my uh, spell book? Where's that coming from? Magic initiate. Oh, um, your magic initiate due to Eldarin as part of your uh ash uh, far. Oh. Yeah, you're here. Wait, what? You're far traveler, but you've got magic initiate. That's only for astral drifter. It's probably from something else. I'm not sure what it's from, but it's from something else. It'd be good to find out what the other else thing is. Shouldn't I have a um it's probably from my this ascendant dragon? I'd like to say. I have no idea. But it's supposed to be there. Or it's a feat that I chose. Because we're all supposed to have a feat. Yeah, the feat was tough or skill expert. Those yeah. are the two options that you got for the starter feet. Not any tougher skilled, which he does have. <laughs> I am confusion. It is from somewhere, man. Let me check. Don't <laughs> worry, give me a second. I have. I need to like go out and buy the physical fucking book because like I mm -hmm. hate D and D Beyond for it, and I hate pulling it from here. Um, it also looks like really sketchy in a recording as I go to like another fucking folder and pull shit up. <laughs> <laughs> like hi guys it's not piracy I own the books I just can't be asked with the website uh, send a dragon I don't think subclasses get feats um, or do they yeah mm -mm. I don't know No, I don't get any. I don't start getting anything for that until level three. The mystery of the hidden feet. It could just be elder. The mystery of the hidden feet. As an elder, you don't uh, get feet. You don't get a feet. Yeah. You I don't want to get. Choose, um... I don't want to get rid of it. Me and you are two different types of elder. Nope, you're the same elder. We're the same elder. There are MPMM. there are four types of elder right. in just different year, like seasons or something. Yeah, MPMM. Because um, magic initiate only comes if your background as astral drifter or some other ones. Far traveler. Let me say, where's that from? Far traveler. <laughs> Give me a moment. This happens a lot more than you'd think, by the way. So don't worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Far Traveler comes from. I think that's just Player's Handbook. Skag. That comes from S. Skag and. It doesn't come with any. I, I don't know where you've got that magic initiate from, but it's certainly not your. It's certainly not your background or your. What we'll do right now, okay? Just for the safe dogs, we're gonna go. Uh, I'll double check this. Let's take five. 
Very rare, that we, very rare that we take breaks here to begin with, but let's take five minutes. So yeah, uh, toilet strips. Time to read manga. Time to do weeb shit. Did that mean to do all that? Mong. Um, subclass. Send a dragon, whatever, whatever, whatever. Take it level two. Just want to level two so he wouldn't be squishy. Yes, yeah, squishy. Squish. Squish. Yeah, you you don't get magic initiate. Okay. I don't so know why you... that's there. Wait, hold on. Is it what I think it is? Uh, no, it wouldn't be. <clears throat> Give me some good news. <laughs> Give me some good news. Don't take away the free feet that I thought I had. <laughs> Without the spells. Uh, dun 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 Yes, not even when you get with any of the backgrounds here. Um, yeah. I think the, the the Korean backgrounds and the Astral Drifter are the only ones that get defeat. Yeah, Kryn, uh So you'd have to be either a Knight of Salamnia, akin to Renard, or you would have to be a Mage of High Sorcery. And when you're a mage of high sorcery, the feat you get is initiate of high sorcery. Um, and on that, uh, yeah, that's just very particular feats as opposed to the tough feat that you already have. So I, mm -hmm. I think that's been an, an, I think that's been an accident. I'm just putting that in there because well, you took skilled actually. Mm-hmm. You have any combination of three skills or tools. <laughs> yeah, with it, made a, with it, there has been a slight mistake there. Unless he's a variant human. No. I'm not a variant human. He's just like you. Okay. And uh, by okay. that, I mean elf. Um, uh, what season? What season? <laughs> oh, the season changes on a long rest, but it doesn't change what... Um, doesn't change what spells and that, you know. It just changed how it affects your face step. Yeah, but still, what season is, is are you? Don't worry about it. Eladrinel. Okay. I mean, I would know because I'm a. I'm also an Eladrinel. I would know what season you are just by looking at you. I think, at least. No, nope. mm -hmm. it's not something that has any physical outward appearance change. It has a emotional change. Yeah, it's more an internal how I feel. Okay. <laughs> I feel like shit, therefore I am winter. Exactly. That's that's my that's my that's Valley knows. Hmm. <laughs> She's winter right now. Let's <laughs> see. Let's mute you. Uh, how long an average do you think we set? Uh, three to four, depending. Okay, okay. Start a session length. Unless there's days like we're all just doing nothing, it's like, cool, let's bang it. Boom, eight hours oh. later, so we're all sitting there dead, <laughs> crying. We've done, we've done that before. We've done it before. The longest session I've done is uh, 24 hours, over 24 hours. We ate, slept, and woke up D D. That was a while ago. Right. I wish I, I wish I could do that one of these days. Like uh, it's not long it's good. <laughs> Said pain. It's, good. it's fucking okay. pain. Yeah. yeah so I just a, want the like I want to experience like, to pick it off my bucket list. Yeah, fair enough. I fair enough. From D &D session. <laughs> I got it off my bucket list and I was like, you know what? <laughs> you can stay there. <laughs> 
It, what was cool about it though was because um, when we would wake up, the DM woke up before most of us. So when we woke up, he actually described us waking up as we woke up, which was fun. Anyway, say. Um, I wonder, are we all good? We all ready to go? Yep. Yep. I'm just chilling and playing Overwatch on Winston. Just monkey. <laughs> monkey. Right. Then, I will say for the safety of it, as night passes and day dawns anew, as you are all awakening in the tavern, is there anything you wish to be doing as you wake up? I would Drinking. probably have spent a bit of time the the, the night before out just outside sitting on the pier and just watching the horizon where Ispin's boat was <coughs> floating towards. Fane is going to I really went Go ahead. Fine is mead. Hmm? Um, after uh, he's drinking mead. And um, after a certain point, uh, Cosmo probably goes for a swim. Just drinking yeah, music at 9 in the morning. It's 9, a, it's 9 p.m. somewhere. Yeah, it's 9 yeah. p.m. somewhere. Don't, Don't judge me. And take um, animal handling and nature as my proficiencies. You're going to start knocking them off then. This is why I hate Mordecai and presents monsters of the multiverse for shit like this. <laughs> I just looked into the camera and I saw. No, never mind. Like, Weapon or that. tool. <laughs> weapon or tool, never mind. Oh, you can still take a weapon. The sorcerer Probably proficient. Need, um... Sorcerer proficient in fucking battle axes. <laughs> <laughs> Julie made a, what's it called, a, a thing for whatever RTX graphics card that is, it's like a thing for any camera that it makes it look your like even if you're not, your eyes are look yeah, your eyes are not never moving, but like always looking at the camera. I, I don't like that thing at all. Don't worry. Uh, Exodus, good news. Um, it's yeah. the morning. Um, <laughs> you didn't miss much. You were invited to Thorn Thornwall Keep. It's now morning. You are awakening is there anything that you've been anything you are doing anything you have done it's 9 a.m did you wake up earlier or are you waking up just now waking up you know i i had a few drinks that night i'm waking up around now I'll throw you in there is in the room there is you and battles fain it's been missing from the room uh we're not Renard, is there anything you've been doing? Anything you do? Wake up? Woke up earlier? Yeah, I would have went to see Becklin. To... Oh, yeah, you, you're technically already at Thornwall Keep. Correct. In that case, to then... report in on uh, let her know of my mission assignment given to me from the commander of my group to. Uh, and report in the findings I've made as such. I'm going to PM you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I was going to put you there. So, uh, as uh, Renard is not with you, what is everyone's plan? Hmm. We did. Some of us did mention that we'll, that we'll visit the Thorn Wall Keep in the morning. I'll go do the fishing that I said I would do. I remember saying I was going to go yep. fishing on session oh. zero with some. Oh yeah, proficiency with fish, fish, with fishing tools. Fishing tools. Like, yeah, I mean, he did. Um, Ispin did teach me fishing. Took proficiency with fishing tools, which I don't think is actually a thing in D and D. Yeah, I know. I, so. I, just, I just added. Them. I just typed it like manually in. <laughs> Ding. Cool. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Um, Bartolus and Exus. I will get the name right eventually. 
Oh, are no. you awakening or are you having a long lie? What's the plan? It's 9 a.m. Bro, this is just getting up and he's, he'll see Exodus and give him a little nod, even if he's awake or asleep. <laughs> Nodding in a sleeping dude. Yeah, that was polite. <laughs> you, you believe Exodus is sleeping, right? Because he's wearing well, his mask. I can't see. Yeah, exactly. Like, can't but see. but <laughs> no. then he nods back, and it's like <laughs> one of those awkward moments. Yeah, hello. You look cute when you sleep, boy. Yes, I do. So, uh, <laughs> he would say, I don't believe we had any plans for after the funeral, did we? When do you think we should just head out, head back to where we came from? There was some mention of uh, Thornwall Keep. You want to go there? And the, what? the High Heel reenaction or something? You are not there right now. Oh, just out of character. You are not there right now. No, that's, right now. I do, that's I do remember it doing. now that you mention it. That's what someone uh, is doing. That's what but... uh, Cudgel is doing. We just... When should we head out of town? Uh, when you go up. I've been waiting on you. Oh. Well. Let's go then. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What uh, do you want to do? Let's go fishing, guys. <laughs> oh, already out the door. Oof. I love that. Oof, Honey, wait up. Up. <laughs> this happens this damn near every new game that we have. What do you want to? I don't know. What do you want to do? I try and come up with some shit most of the time, but everyone's just like. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, like we're we're military people, right? Like on a mission still. Like we're still in the war, right? I mean, like just introductions in general, like starting games. I often be like, "Hey, let's try and talk to each other," and everyone's like, I "The the war is more a rumor, <laughs> akin to anything else at the moment." The, the war is very much similar to the war in Ukraine right now. We might be at war. We ain't too sure. Ukraine knows there, but everywhere else in the world, we might be. We are too far in removed from it. Yeah. We hear about it, it's but... Not, yeah, it's not happening to us, so it's not happening. Right, right. the it's US government's like, how much can we help Ukraine without starting World War Three? Like, what's, mm. the, what's the limit? No, they're already threatening if we keep helping America. Um, they're gonna declare war on NATO. Because they're giving too much help to Ukraine. <clears throat> actual laws since we're playing make believe. Yeah, yeah. We're, here, we're here to escape, boys. Uh, <laughs> we're make believe. Right. Let's talk about war. <laughs> Fane is right there finishing up uh, whatever he's drinking at nine, ten in the morning. Give this man a familiar, and he fucking forgets about it every time. I'm grabbing it, you asshole! <laughs> yes, this is. Shut your dumb, dumb bubblegum looking at bitch the fuck up. He's all stand there in the middle of the Iron Crab Tavern. Everything. You know, it's quiet for the most part. The piano plays automatically, having seemingly run out of songs. The woman, Yalmi. Cleaning up, she looks. So, you've got any plans for today? I'm gonna go fishing. Mm. You want to is, she, uh, is she talking uh, to us? If you would like. I don't know. I just had someone ask a question. You are the only people in here. Use use uh, a book. Use a book to the place out. Y'all live in every room. There are um, things. Yeah, there are uh, talks of a, a reenactment going on today, I attend to. You don't seem like the type to watch plays. I'm not. So yeah, the um, Battle of High Hill, yeah, that will be going on today. Um, probably quite late. Yeah, it's a reenactment of a, a famous battle that came here. It's all well and fun, everyone gets involved. In the end, everyone ends up here or elsewhere. More drinks, more cheering, 
By the end of it, your livers will be fucking pickled. Sounds interesting. We might check that out after I do some fishing. Who said they were gonna join me with some fishing? Um, I did. Ah, uh, right. Uh, I don't think we've talked to each other directly. Cosmos. Introduce myself. No, we haven't. I'm Melino. Nice to meet you. Melino or Melanin? Melino. Melino. Okay, my apologies. The name is Cosmos, or Cos, or Cosmos. Either one works for me. Cosmos, then. Indeed. Um, forgive me for any disrespect I may cause in our times of talking. I'm not very accustomed to this place and its traditions. I am either, to be honest. I've only been here for a few years now. I'm somewhat similar in that case. I guess we are. Um, not very used to this place just yet, so I don't know what's going on. So, just learned about what fishing is. That's quite fun. It is. It's been taught me how to fish. Well, you did. I only recently learned what it was. <laughs> More of a book nerd in my case. I never really went out and thing that physically or be there for those type of things. So it's nice to oh, I know. I know learn. what you're talking about. Well if you'd like to join me. Sure. How did you sure. just now hear of fishing? I've never fished before and I've never the concept of trying to catch food like that. Did you, did your people not eat fish? I've never eaten fish. But I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself a normal within my people. I would say that don't see me as you know the commonplace for my people. I'm uh, shut in to be aware that you can describe me I guess. I was right, I right. always right. gonna, uh, I Fane's gonna Fane's gonna step back, put an armor on like, next to this and just be like he's clearly an alien <laughs> <laughs> He, he pauses <laughs> and looks. He squints over. You can't. You can barely tell because of the mask. But he's like, and then he gives a nod. <laughs> really don't know how true that statement might be. <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. So, um, well then, let's head out if you let's. Do Go try out some fishing for the second time. I tried it the other day. It was quite fun. Didn't catch anything though, which is upsetting. Yes, it is very fun and relaxing. We'll start unless having our way a, to where uh, that unless, yeah, unless you're catching a really big fish, then it is a little bit more physical. Ah. Technique goes out the window when the fish is bigger than you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Ooh, what was that? I'll start going to where that place, place that I saw fishing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I ask the people who are here with me, the soldiers, if they're up for a game of Three Dragon Antsy. Can I be heard? Hey DM, are you going to be doing the DMing? I don't know what Three Dragon Ante is. I'm sitting here thinking, so what the fuck is that? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a game. game. It's a it's a dice game that I have in my. <laughs> just because I just thought that was a random. Do I now need to Google what Three Dragon? Uh, I mean, it's it's a, a, it is a thing. You can always play it like Knuckle Bones. I can do does you it, one. I can do you one better. Do <laughs> I don't know Knuckle Bones, but do you know what I do know? I know, I, know how, I know how to play blackjack with three with, with three d ten. I mean, uh, if you know the free dragon, so, Ante. so the free dragons are the free die, I guess. Uh, he's talking about blackjack or unless or that's the I've I, I see the dice name all the time. I just assume it's a miscellaneous thing like chessboard. Oh no, you can, you can, you can play. <laughs> Do you know how to play? It's a gambling thing. I, uh, 
It's hard to tell you how to play. It's like, it's to not for the game he was suggesting is. It's like it's like trying to teach somebody how to play dominoes. It's not really like not really like a thing it's that an, I can it's teach. It's an you. actual board game, card game. Kinda. <laughs> it has a twenty-page rule book. Wow. <laughs> Is the bigger dude? This is the medieval times. No one has that rule book printed out. <laughs> that's that's why I told him he could um he could play it like knuckle bones. I don't knuckle know bones. what that is either. You don't you don't know? It's like um you roll dice in highest number, and it's like maybe it is like. Are shit. you are you just talking about rolling? 3d6 and seeing who gets the highest number um it's it's rolling 3d6 and getting closer to a certain number and if you break that number you can um that's called bones is it that's fucking yeah. that's, bones that's always how knuckle that's bones. always been, yeah bones. that's always been how we play knuckle bones <laughs> that's just irl bones <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking on our elbows. <laughs> uh, Y'all can play bones if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only used. There's commoners here. These are they're bar staff. Mm -hmm. They are bar staff. <laughs> but yeah, it's like can... um closest to twenty one. You roll three d six. Three D six doesn't make twenty six. No twenty one. Then, then, makes eighteen. Then how do you? Well, you roll a D six three times, right? Three and versions get, of the, the same. The, game. Yeah, the closer you get to a certain number, like, and if you get past it, you can either sit there and bluff, or somebody can be like, "Hey, you're, I think you so, got over this certain number." So you're saying roll 3d6 three times and see what the outcome no, is? No, no. Roll 1d6, so that's a d8. So say I roll a d6, it's 2. Okay. I roll it again. 7. It's 5. Mm -hmm. 7. And I roll it again. 8. Okay, 8. First round, everybody should be good. There should be no calls. And then, since everyone's good, it goes again. Right, so we're doing this. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's the game. And right. Then once everybody gets up there... What number, what number is say, Let me once, roll. Once everybody gets up there and feels as though we're ready to show our hands, everybody shows their number, and the, and the highest number that's not over 21... Or whatever number you set. I'll set you number right now. Go. Uh, then I'll say the the number is twenty four, based off a two d twenty rule. Okay. First so, round. Hold on. We don't even know is who's. That... We don't even know who's playing. You said we okay. can we. But oh no! I was just showing. Ah. <laughs> just to see what happens. Mm hmm. Watch. Yeah. Okay. You see, roll. right now, I can I can decide to either sit at that number or roll d uh three d six again. <laughs> at that point, I would hold my hand and be like, and just act like, hey. I think I have a pretty good amount of, you know, number with me. Even though I'm over it, she can call me, and if I, and she calls me, she wins the game, assuming that there's only two of us here. Does it make sense? Kinda. <laughs> the way I'm imagining it is like it's blackjack with two d sixes, right? With three d sixes, and then with, oh, with three d sixes, blackjack with three d sixes. However, it's also combined with the game liar, 
We or no, it's combined with the game bullshit. We had to call bullshit on someone. So, you, so if you think that they went over their amount, you can call bullshit on them. Yeah, and that means they lose. You win. But if you're wrong, then you lose your hand and you lose whatever money you put in. Yeah, really, really That's some good explanation for a person who said, "I'm I, gonna play games with the NPCs." <laughs> I've. I have, an, I have an easy way to do this. How about instead, okay? Because this this is complex. How about, twi- how about 21 with D10s? Roll two D10s <laughs> and then from there. Just makes it so much easier. That's fine. That's fine. If you want to play with the... You want to play with uh, Melano and the Commoner, I'm assuming there, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll play it. I'm, okay. I'm, fi- I'm fishing with Cosmos. Yeah, yeah, we, we are fishing together. We really I splitting mean, the party. Sh- we really splitting the party right now, guys. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> are we? <laughs> I mean, I was planning to f- on fishing on the pier here, like. Just yeah, I'll, here. I'll fish there as well, yeah. So we're not really splitting, just like a few feet away. Okay. Who has a fishing rod on him? <laughs> I have my basic fishing equipment. I don't have any, so I'll I'll watch you. You can teach me how to do it properly. Okay. What time? What time is the um reenactment set for? Uh, the reenactment is set for noon. However, use you know use the thing, but we'll do, we'll go with this now. Use two art out there fishing. So, uh, Bane, you're playing with the commoner. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's, it's a question more than anything. It seems like you question me. Is anyone else joining Fane? <laughs> yeah, I'm already sitting at the table, so... Cool. And so, uh... I'll, I'll explain this one easy. Uh, really quickly, set your roles to a uh, private GM role. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're rolling 2d10? Yeah, well, 2d10. Okay. Uh, so, bets, guys. The commoner looks places a gold in the middle. Jesus, this guy got some Kimball. Uh, I'm also going to throw a gold out. Isn't like a gold a week's worth of like pay for commoner? He's clearly retired. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> and every round, we get to go again. Yep. Uh, Barrels, you. You calling or yeah. are you? Yep, cool. I'm gonna gold coin in. There are three gold in the pot. The number is. Uh, that is Melano by accident. Uh, the number here is just 21, so roll 2d10 and keep a hold of your number as it is. I'll, I'll see it as well, just so I know. So, you, cool. so, you, mm-hmm. so commoner gold. Maybe he's going to look at his dice and smile. Dope man looks in. Grumbles up. Okay. So does he? Kind of licks. <laughs> Guys, pocket. Five silver in the pot. Uh, what is one gold equal to in silver? Ten. Ten. Can I break one of my gold into silver? Yep. Perform alchemy or actually just <laughs> g- g- grab I'll silver just, pieces? Let's just say Yalme gives you the money. Just say, take mm-hmm. one, get ten. Boom. Turn fifteen into fourteen. Bottle, yeah. I'm assuming you are the same. How much silver did he throw in the pot? How much did he put in? He put in five silver. I, uh,. I throw in five into the pot, too. He looks and grimaces. <laughs> Bottles? So, I look at the uh, person well, I, I traveled here with. Okay. Oh, did I? Ah, I cool. He looks and starts rolling another dice. 
another 2d10. 1d10 this time. Oh, 1d10 this time, okay. Okay. Mm. It's the old man. I look, look. I look at the old man, and I uh, can I perception check him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, insight check him. I'd say insight check him. Insight. 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 He is happy. He is <laughs> elated. He uh -huh. has he has something that you don't. Mm -hmm. And he is more than willing to tell that there's an air of arrogance around them. Okay. Um... He looks. Fade smiles and he says, you feel confident? Oh, oh boy. He watches he he's in his pocket. Pulls out a crescent shaped piece of coin. What? Places it on the what table. Is, what is that? One platinum. Mm. Is that ten gold? It's ten gold. Yeah. <laughs> I throw ten gold in the pot. We're gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> He's gonna go bankrupt. Or you're gonna go bankrupt. Are you gonna pull out of the game? Baralis puts Tangled on. Oh. Bear, 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 this is blackjack. This is basically blackjack. So you can hit or you can stick. So man looks once more. You can stay where you are? Yeah, you, and... can, you, can, you can hold your hand. Yeah. He kind of rolls once more. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. He kind of looks at you, bottleless. He's gonna smile. See if he can get it. Uh, that's, I think he's over 21. If you go over, mm. 20, if you go over 21, you'd have to declare it immediately. Because he just fail hand after that. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do I think anybody at this table has a number higher than mine? Hmm. You you know your numbers, you don't know anyone else's numbers. I would say you could insight check Barrowless, and Barrowless could also insight check you if they wished. I'm gonna insight check Barrowless. <laughs> Love that. Barrowless. Yeah? You, is he, you know, watch your friend here. Looks sober, looks at your hands, looks at your car, looks at your dice. Tries to ascertain your next move, whether or not you are at 21 or higher. You can tell he's trying to scab at you are a tough read as you sit to mull over your choice to hold or to hit. Hold. Okay. This old man looks places another five silver and goes again. Mm. And then that, there is a... It's a bus? Kind of, here goes this Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Over 21! Yay! Let's go! 9, 9, 1 and 4. <laughs> he was gonna he was gonna win. He rolled the four and then the one. 
It's kind of looks. <laughs> so in his pot, he has put essentially twelve gold per se. There's twelve gold in the pot from him. Twelve gold, fucking t- four, twelve gold times three. Twelve times three, my ten, thirty-six gold in the pot right now. Between yourselves, as a winner takes all. Mm-hmm. Do I want to hold or f- back more on? So, okay. At, at this point here, you are free to role play, psych each other out with rolls as well, and I will accommodate your rolls accordingly. So you sit there with the number in your hand. The old man looks intently over both of you. Hey, he's just gonna hide his nail a little bit. He and he's gonna go like. So, Verilis. Mm. You think you have a number higher than that? I'm not interested. Ooh. I'm gonna hold. See what looks. Well, time to reveal. Let's use. Move your hands away. Bottleless with. 20 <laughs> takes he <laughs> takes the pot takes 36 gold additional so that makes you the richest person in the party no. <laughs> there you go added to your sheet there mate no hard feelings Finn. no problems as you two are out there fishing, uh, could you both roll me survival checks? I don't oh, mind with proficiency. Yep. <laughs> 19. Nice. I'm learning. Just do both. You know, stand there and take it. And you still get little nibbles here and there. As eventually you do both kind of pull up and you do get some rather smallish fish. Not going to lie, I rolled... Two fours. You get some rather small little fish, but I don't get anything. To... <laughs> he fetches the fish, not me. Just roll a d10. <laughs> oh. Alright. Why you uh, roll a d10? No, I I roll a d10 for her for her stuff here. No, Where I failed. Ah. He was the one that yeah, you just catch got a, something. You catch a tinyish fish. You know, and nice. enough, enough that could be classed as one ration, if properly <laughs> prepared. Sweet. That's pretty cool. That's very good for a for a first timer. I think it was mostly luck, but it was quite interesting. It was, it was quite fun. As this now pans over, <laughs> at this time, in Thornwall Keep, Renard awakens. Goes downstairs to, sp- you know, speak with Becklin. The tower itself, veins of bronze covered ivy clinging to the keep's ancient three story tower, a tall structure in Vogler. It is. It has a nice seren- serenated roof. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> with a rather weird, a rabble- elaborate catapult device upon the roof. The runes. Related. What was that? Sure, it was a crin- Was it crinolated? Yes. Oh, was... that's with the little step up and down oh. stones. Thought I believe. Were, thought this were called battlements. <laughs> yeah, the crumbling walls of this fallen structure surround the keep, and amid it are these square pits of excavation sites. As the party stand well as you stand there with Becklin and she looks is it a pleasant night for yourself yes thank you and you said you had some rather pressing matters she kind of moves over to the couch as you may well May not know, I'm recently knighted into the Order of the Crown. Um, my first 
quest mission by the Warden of the Crown was to travel around Salamnia in the countryside investigating these rumors of strange creatures and strange goings on and report periodically to the nearest outpost of the knights so that uh, my report may be forwarded back to him. Um, I wish to do that. Yes. Let you know of strain of my personal encounter with some strange flying lizard dragon like creatures. You can see dragon um, she tries her hardest to <laughs> hate the almost giggled smile. I know it's hard to believe, but if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would be skeptical as well. Um, I also wish to report a personal encounter that I had with Kiri Jolith, I believe himself, came to me in a vision and wanted me to let wanted to let me know that the old gods are reaching out to us. They've not abandoned us, and they believe that they may be needed in the near future for some cataclysmic type actions or events. She stands looks. I will pass this on. Do Believe me when I say, this will be met with the utmost of scepticism. You saw dragons and a god within 24 hours of each other. Now, we, I understand. <laughs> there is a lot that we can learn from the past, and I do believe that we could work together with the past to improve the present. I show her this. The only physical evidence I have of either encounter is this, and I show her the amulet that Kiri Jolith gave me. Hmm. Just kind of looks at it. This is old. But I keep a hold of it, of anything. It may serve you well, given your profession. As I would say, there's a lot we can learn from the past, and the past is the key to many things. But as it stands right now, there's not <coughs> too much. There's not too much we can do or say unless we all experience this same thing. You've had an experience, you say, and you're the only one who's had that experience. So I can't speak on behalf of that. Obviously, I will pass this on. There were also the reports from uh, my guards, those three fellows, the sort of elven one, the masked one, and the scarred one. They came with a body to the town. Uh, claiming similar but obviously we'd have to look more into it but we will my only the only surviving witness and i give her the location of, of the attack on the caravan was a man named samuel of liggett um if you wish to send more someone to liggett to speak with him um other than that i can only give you my word and, and as a knight of Salamia, that I am speaking the truth. And I, I do understand, and believe me, if I see anything of the sorts, you will have my 100% support and belief. Until then, I can only go off of what I have. And I do apologize if it seems I'm being somewhat rather rough on that one, but it's a case it's... I have to see it to believe it, if that makes sense. Uh, that does it does it is a seemingly very fantastical type of 
encounter I'm describing to you, so I understand your doubt, but hopefully next time I'll be able to actually engage one of the creatures and slay it and bring physical evidence of what I've found, of seen. Hmm. Yes, well, <clears throat> in that time, um, I will say, though, I would class our official business here as done, I have something of a more personal business. Um, may I take a moment? Of course. And may I take a moment? <laughs> I only see black on this map of Thornwall. You only see Fiber black? Um, I only see we're black. Because we're not there? Or wait? Uh, uh, he specifically is there. He specifically is there. Use or not. Ah. This is the whole spot the party thing? I mean... He was the one who said he was going to sleep at the keep. <laughs> True. That was so you would have your own room. I mean, the whole tavern was basically reserved for us, like all three rooms. I understand. I didn't feel it would chivalrous to share the room with a woman. She needs her privacy. I mean, I didn't even sleep in the room, to be honest. <laughs> I would just, I just stay yeah, would... outside all night. Also, Bane gave up his room. I was, I was swimming. <laughs> Bane gave up his room. Well, we both gave up, so our room went unused. Great. <laughs> Oh, I love it when this shit happens. Uh, you should be like, see... You can have my room, doesn't sleep in the room at all. Either way. <laughs> uh, Renard should be able to see in this small room, but no one else should be able to see. I see nothing. One sec. Uh, so if I take here and go... Like that. You see nothing here? Oh, now I see it. Apologies. I had you on a dark screen for no reason <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, as Becklin leaves up the small set of stairs, she comes back a few moments later, carrying a shallow wooden box about three feet on each side, and sets it down on the floor. <coughs> uh, Becklin left this. Uh, I feel it more appropriate to give it to someone who may use it. Um. Everyone else there, none of them, apart from one, seem to have two. Two had weapons, but you are the only one carrying a shield. I feel best it come to you. Maybe you take it to them, see what they say. But it's been requested it go to his friends. But it comes with a condition. He is very clear about this. And she kind of slides the box open a little and pulls out a letter. And starts reading it. Since I will not be attending the King Fisher Festival this year, participate for me. I'm just gonna read on. He's hoped you'll take place in his. Oh, he's brave. <sighs> he hopes you'll take place for him in the Battle of High Hill. He looked forward to this participation and subsequent dying in even more ludicrous ways every year. One year he started throwing streamers. <laughs> Ah, I'm just going to open the box. It's a rather ornate, battle-scarred shield. Oh, green. It is green shield. Espen's shield. 
take it. Very honored. I shall. I shall do my best to live up to his standard in the festival. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask. Oh, it's a, it's a we use only really shouldn't, from what I gather. You don't know each other, but you have a camaraderie, and I feel maybe you could pass the message to them. Your new found acquaintances? Um, just have them enjoy the festival for Ispin's sake and inquire if they'll maybe take place in the battle. It's a friendly skirmish and nothing else. No one really dies. And it's, 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 it's funny. It truly is. It's never been more fun. This year we have a reason to enjoy ourselves. I shall bring that up with them when they arrive. <laughs> if we'll arrive. If they come. Maybe they're too busy fishing. It's my worry as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were two things. Like one was a thornwall, one was a the. Oh, there was uh, a lot. Renekton. I know, I know. Don't worry, worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Edwin. <laughs> yeah, she can. Have... Edwin. Yeah, takes the box and he takes it back up the stairs, and for the most part, just starts going about her duties at the tower. I will say our timelines have now synced. The fishing is done. The gambling is done. This is done. As to our small town of Vogler, I'm trying to get up a map and I ain't even in the maps. Where's everyone else? You have free reign of your tokens now uh, to be wherever you are. Uh, just put your horse there because stables. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I see the one. I know the one it's playing. Um, what's called uh, Cosmo is going to make himself light just to reduce his weight by half, so he's, he's a bit speed increases by ten foot. He's just going to explore and have fun. Just go to different places he's never been. Yeah. Just fucking jumping around like he's in low gravity. <laughs> Battles as you walk on over through the town centre. Nope, that went two pages in better one. <laughs> <laughs> the town itself. A buzz with the morning energy and festive energies. As locals start setting up stalls and hanging decorations ahead of the <coughs> you. you can see up on high the aforementioned thermal keep. Just it does, you hear a voice from on the other end of this court. Good morning! Hi! You must. Uh, are you Becklin's friend? She watches this young man comes almost sp Renting down the street at you. At me? Or someone else? At Barrelus. Barrelus, okay, cool. Sorry, I just wasn't <laughs> fully paying attention. I'm going wherever people's tokens are placed, so. It's gonna look. I'm glad I've caught you! It's from a stop in the doorway, he's gonna walk in, sprinting. No more than 20 years old, the sword is half a cloak sack, a cloth sack on his arm. I'm Darren, a Becklin student. Have you had breakfast at all? No. Why? Oh. Um. So I, I've been sent here to get some some pies. Um. You know, for breakfast up at the the keep. And well, it was in, in case you're coming. You know, if you're coming, then we get a little bit extra, and we can all. You know. Sit and have breakfast as friends. Friends would mean I'd have to know you. Where are my manners? Direct high water. Um, Becklin's pupil, student, understudy, squire. Take your pick. 
I could eat. Let's go. Um, Fame is going to follow behind to go eat. Uh, I will be right back. Cool. cool. He's on. Oh. He's straight. Peace out. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. <laughs> will he be back? Yeah. It's always a mystery. Will he be back? <laughs> He is with you. You, 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 you. You've got another elven friend. What's <laughs> up, so, Melanie? What you been doing? Um, after the fishing was done, I would probably have also like asked the if I see any of the, our guy of the party in the tavern, I would ask them what they're do gonna be doing now, and gently remind them about the thorn keep. Thornhole keep. Thornhole keep. Uh, <laughs> got it in the end. Tongue twister. Um, Cosmos was, was probably thinking about like exploring the city, but behind him he goes like, oh, that. Well, I don't know where that is, so I want to just walk around well and explore until we need to go to where we go. We can ask around where it is, yes. We do. I mean, <laughs> I assume people here are friendly enough to... Tell us where to go. You see him, see him, stay see. The, 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 the. It seems friendly enough. Hmm? So let's go, let's go, let's go ask some people. And I'll just, I'll walk over the, out, uh, and just be like, first person I see, hello, how do we go? You cut out, mate. Yeah, so the first, the first person I see, I'm going to go, hello, how do He's gonna. Like, oh, oh, oh. Hello! Hi! Hello, um, I forgot the place I was about to ask you where we go. Um, Melana, where are we going? Oh, we'll keep. That place, please. Do you know where that is? Points over his shoulder to the huge, towering keep that overlooks the town. You can't miss it. Thank you very much. Do yeah, you know I. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Surprised I missed that. I mean, it is our first time in the in the city, so it is. Get a person walks on with a smile. Exodus, what you been doing? Exodizing. Just been following the group. You know, I don't really have any business to take care of. I don't want right. to buy anything. I don't want to. Let's 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 play a that. fun game called the group has split. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> So unless you're an ooze, <laughs> I'll, I'll be following um the guy that uh the the group that I came here with if they're together. Uh yeah. Not blueberry eyes. The, the Marshall group. <laughs> Not the aliens. Oh, yeah, no. The blue people. <laughs> this is just yeah. the two people that are from here, and the rest just completely separated. Like. I'm not from here. I don't know shit. I'm also not from here. I don't know shit either. Cool, let's go together and leave the other people that might know something. <laughs> racial diversity is a no-no. <laughs> There's racial diversity and there's people that aren't from the same planet. Don't like you. You're not from here. Go away. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say, these, are, these two are rocking your way to the tower. As the, what I will call the martial grip... And the spellcaster group. <laughs> As the martial group rock on outwards. Darrett you know, looks. As these are walking. So, uh, do you know anything about the festival at all? Anything at all? Not a thing. So, the festival celebrates the victory of the Knights of Salamnia. Uh, Lord Decatur Volga over the forces of the Empire of Istar. Um, almost a hundred year old battle. And long, long before the Cataclysm. Uh, today's festivities will include some music and some food, some games, and everything's kind of based on how the town's foundings. Um, yeah, it's, it's overall going to be quite a quite fun and I, I I hope we get to be good friends more than anything uh, it's just I'm you know, brother sometimes you know watch his, he is clearly seeing something but the speed he is going at his 
brain and his mouth are not in sync anymore and he's, he's talking with such gusto and vigour. You're more just entranced to nod and agree than to stop this man in his stride. As eventually. Now, say some 10-15 minutes later, you all now arrive at Thornwall Keep. And I'm going to just throw the tokens in here as they are. Blaze it and praise it, brother. I'm lighting a candle. <laughs> Let me alone. <laughs> <laughs> She's all show up to see. Just dad, it kind of looks at Becklin. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yep, say sorry things. Thank you. So you kind of boom. Becklin kind of looks at you all as Renat, Renard, yeah, stat, you know, as their new shield and such. She looks ah, um, so uh, uh, breakfast then, I assume. If it's being offered, one second. Tomorrow. So everyone is well. Everyone is friends of friends of Ispin, friends of mine. Um, Cosmo for the first time will actually take his hood off, so his like hair is more on show, and he, and it, it's kind of difficult. He has, to, he has to kind of like he has to kind of like pull one part up to like slide one ear out, then the other ear. He's like struggling a little bit. He goes, ah, can someone help me a little bit? You just have to like, just pull the hood up for me a little bit. Ah, 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 we got it, cool. He takes his hood off and like, his ears twitch a little bit. Were you in Becklin's office? Uh, this is the first floor, Greg. It's really hard to see, but it's actually written in the thing here. It says ground floor. Um, everything, else, you, everything else upstairs, you know yourself. Um, there is the roof with the contraption. There is then an office itself, followed by a barracks. And then this particular room, as you would have seen that throughout the night. All right. Thank you, Melon. Morning. Morning, everyone. Morning. Um, as all of you are friends of Ispen, I was given an honor this morning by Becklin to participate in Ispen's place in the upcoming reenactment. Um, I believe that he would wish or hope that we would all participate, but if not, I sure hope, oh. certainly hope that you will enjoy the show. Oh, it's I'm not a do... replay, but a, like, a reenactment, but people can still fight and win. In the, in the end, one side always wins. It's very much staged. It's a, a battle of how the town was really founded. So, you know, one side's the good guys, one side's the bad side. Um, Yous will probably more than likely be on the good side but your chances of dying you know they are very much it is a battle but you obviously you know if there's too many of them and not enough of you then they're going to take a few punches and you know it's all just a big theater ah oh, i see so um that means no spells Oh, that's, that's all I ever do. Same. I mean, I do have a cross bolt, but... Oh, we, we've got these. The she kind of pulls out a dagger and pushes it in to her hand. It does you watch as it seems to bend before snapping. Completely harmless. Ah. Once it hits the armor, you know... Ah, I'm dead. Oh, I remember. It's been told me like it's been told me a few a few stories about this adventure of his. It's all in good fun. Um, and he's also hoping that you will take part in all the round town festivities as well. That's fun. This was supposed to have made channel, but I couldn't add it directly. Some help. <laughs> Why are you trying to add me, Chant? Um, it was what I chose originally because I remember I swapped it for chilling touch because I already took uh, fireball. 
for I chose Mage Hand, but I didn't show it in this version. Uh, top right hand side, you're going to see the three dots. Click Plutonium Import. And then in there, Spells. Open Import on the bottom left hand side and just type in Mage Hand and import. click the little plus play sign next to Mage Hand and I'll put it on your sheet for you, man. Thank you very much, good sir. Yes, you can. It's easy enough. Nothing ever bad happens, and everyone seems to enjoy themselves. Fucker. Excuse me. Sounds, well, sounds interesting. Um, never been more to the uh, physically fighting type, and any sort of battle I do enter, I usually, you know, do the spell casting stuff. So I think I'll see this one. <clears throat> He like Shins. casts his mage hand, then he casts light, and he just like shows that he casts like hand. Be like, I have a spell cast. I mean, so am I, but it still sounds fun. I don't mind watching and learning from the side. You need to prepare your spells, by the way, um, it Did you? Uh, I thought you prepared them. On... No, I, I said I'll let you prepare them. I've learned the spells. However, the prep is entirely up to you. I know you had mage armor because you cast that in yourself after that. Yep, then it was silver bombs. How <clears throat> I many can I get prepared at once? You, five, okay. You prepare five. You're just gonna looks. I mean, if you know anything, you know, it doesn't have to be harmful magic. You can, if you know any, anything to make like noises or, you know, even pretend stuff. Again, you're, you may die, but it's all in good fun. I realize in saying that it sounds off, but yeah, you just said you may die, but it's, it's, it's not long, very. It's close. not actually okay. harmful. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's going to get an extra pocket in the stomach. I could probably shout charge. I have a, I have a spell that makes me be loud. Yeah, and anything that helps, you know. Okay, I can do something along this line. Then, I suggest uh, you have about an hour to just maybe just go and enjoy yourselves in the town. You oh, never, mind then. You never know what you might find. Indeed. I, mean, I actually have something I would like to sell at some point, I found. And he, he picks up the the weird named gem that he got. <laughs> Remember that fucking, I don't know what name you gave me, it was a really weird one. Yeah, my, uh, my guy, it's Oh, it's, it's from the fucking Dungeon Master's Guide or something. It, it was the quasi was that some shit? Like, was it Sazi? What? I don't know. I, just, I, I, I forgot what the name was, so I just added it as a weird gem. Uh, yeah, it was worth 50. I don't know how much. Yeah, yeah I, I already said it to as well. Uh, the cost. I just don't know what yeah. the name was. I deleted that. So so. Yeah. Yeah, he just he shows the gem and goes, I don't know what this is worth, but I can try and I would like to sell this at some point. Be someone in town that can say what have we been talking about here? Going to the reenactment and taking Espen's place, and also, <coughs> also enjoying the festivities. However, there's an hour between now and the reenactment starting, and uh, Cosmo would also like to sell you gem that they found on their travels. Four gold, take it or leave it. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. I think I'll look for an expert. <laughs> Anything you can give. <clears throat> what are you talking about, man? I can just like wake up and be an uh, expert one day. Everyone's like, free to dream. No, no, like I'm serious. I, I was most definitely serious about that one. Elves work in mysterious ways. Good for you. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Should I be impressed? Do you want me to be impressed? What do you want me to say? I want you to be aroused. It's not that aroused? easy, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's what Session, he said. It's Session a... one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy to do that, my friend. Well, it, it was like two hours in. 
Not the <laughs> yeah. five minutes. five minutes into the session, like me and King. <laughs> oh. he, uh, like, uh, because what says, I may be flexible in my preferences, but I would like to get to know me a little bit first. <laughs> Before that happens, anyway. Why is everyone fucking horny? <laughs> I'm not. He was for me. He told me I want to make you aroused. Well, I was. I mean, I, 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 under, I understood what you said as aroused. Like I heard it like that. Sorry. Yeah, that's what. That's what he said. He said aroused. <laughs> I don't know why he said aroused. No, no, help me. This is um. This is, what do I do here? this is this discussion between yourselves. Um, <laughs> good day. Is this normal in this world? I mean, in this country. I mean, in this place. She. Oh my god! Oh my god! Out of character. Um, it's been totally, totally thought, totally talked. Um, Melly know that good day means bidet, so she's like actually saying bidet. That's their okay, saying. Girl. Well, yeah. good day. I mean, Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> I mean, I t I would totally think that Ispin would would br like prank her just a little bit when he was teaching her comment. <laughs> I just find it so funny that the two aliens are like, what is normal? Judges <laughs> are hurried out of the tower, down, out. <laughs> You have one hour to kill before the, <coughs> before the battle. You are looking around now as you have been and had breakfast, I will say. For the scene. As you look around, there are colourful banners and paper decorations shaped like the Kingfisher's decorative... Oops. Colourful banners and paper decorations shaped like the Kingfisher's... Decorate the Kingfisher's fish. Decorate the village and its circle. As you have been... Walking through, there are now temporary stalls selling food and colourful crafts all around. And as you can, you know, you did see the tree at the centre also providing shade and a temporary stage for a band of local musicians singing spirited songs. That's about as much as you get, <coughs> like a hundred metres away, a hundred foot away. So yeah, where do we all wish to go? What do we wish to be doing? Um, I'm gonna just um, we're in the are we in like where the the traders are at the moment, or is that traders? Away? Traders have been the centre of time. You are now back at the yeah. gates. Oh, uh, oh, the. I, just gonna be here. I thought it would be here. Just kind of walk uh, around town, not, see what I can find. A any other day of the week, yes, but during the Kingfisher Festival. Are like here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the tent. Let's uh, go to the, to the big yeah. tree there. Let's go buy some stuff. Um, I think like <laughs> Cosmo is probably some uh, like every time he sees something new in this room, he's like, "Ooh, ah, <laughs> like fucking just like experiencing new shit and being like, what's this? What's this? And what, what does that do? And they're like, oh, it's a necklace. And you if I, I know about that? something, I would tell him, but I also don't know about <laughs> all this stuff, so I, I'm also like okay. looking around curiously. So but, I want, but, I, but, I, but I want to sound a little bit smarter, uh, so the thing I do know, I would tell him. As you walk around. <laughs> You're slightly more experienced than I do here. As you walk around in this town centre, eventually on the stage, a woman of dark skin set with a a set of thigh high boots, almost like pirate boots, we'll say. Some mustard yellow trousers and a bluey purple vest with a thin laced top. Hair and sort of cornrows takes the stage. She does. Welcome, friends! So everyone seems to turn. She raises her arms. Welcome to the Kingfisher Festival! So everyone starts to applaud in the circles. The woman smiles widely. Today is a day not only of reveille but reflection. 
We are here to thank the courage of our heroes who came before and let them honour our founders, our families and all those who can't be here to celebrate today. Enjoy the festival. Vogler, with good spirits, come good times and good friends. Look to the Kingfishers for good luck and I'll see you around. From there, everyone seems to start clapping as you watch as all the stalls seem to pull little ropes and <laughs> open as a sign. You feel the buzz, the energy of this particular circle as all the people now seem to elate and arise. The Kingfisher Festival is now underway. As like they started talking into that, uh, Cosmo stopped for a moment and grabs his necklace that he got and just thinks about the uh, Shinrei. Is it Shinrei or Shin Shinne? Shinne, Shinne, I believe. Shinne. Um, he thinks about he thinks about Shinne and what she represents. He just nods for a moment and then lets go of the necklace, like tucks it back into his shirt. So no. She look around. There are all manners of little things, commerce happening. As soon as you're looking around, you can see all manners of commerce and games happening. As you look, you do see a little sign by the stage. It says performance is welcome. And you also see the woman from the night before kind of setting up in a sort of larger pond. As it does, you also see the dark... I'm, I'm really... You see the black woman. I don't like say That seems like really bad to me. Uh, you see her. Is she... From the colour? Yes, we'll use that from the one. You see the woman of colour. Who looks like this. Standing there. Kind of places the large fish into the water. The woman nods. She's gonna... Starts to beckon. Big fish? Come, come. Think you can catch the biggest fish in all of Vogler? Um, I'll look at Melanie and go, let's go, let's go try Melanie. Like, <laughs> sure. Like, we just did this, let's go. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> As you approach, a fishing pole rests on her shoulder. The woman takes her place and she, she beckons you over. It's time to find out who among us is the King Fisher Fisher Folk. King Fisher Fisher Folk. That's what it that fucking says. <laughs> this is Cosmo looking how I'd be like. King Fisher Fisher Folk. It's the woman. Good day. Oh, good day. Good day. Oh, we have guests as the woman turns round. Ravenoth Volga. Um. You can just call me Maya. You gonna Maya, okay. Nods and winks and places behind it. I'm joking, just braving. So, braving, okay. Do you think you could, uh, think you could catch the biggin? No, but I want to try. It's by all means, as the woman kind of looks at you. It's on the house, like I said. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk to you before. Thank you for that. Fane would like to try it as well. Okay. Then, hold on, hold on, you take that back right now. I didn't do okay. that. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Wow. I will say right now for it, Cosmo, Black Die, Melano, Ancient Die, and Fane, White Die. Cool. As you kind of watch, she kind of passes you the reel. Roll a survival check. Well, I want the other one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, as you pull and put through, Cosmo, you start giving it. As you give it some more, the line seems to just give. As you do, it kind of comes out with just nothing, unfortunately. Aww. She kind of looks. You'll get it next time. You did wonderful this morning. I you, did, I think that was a struggle look. Do you Melano as you try to pull, pull and push? You fight with the rod and eventually <clears throat> nothing. 
So you kind of look also dismayed. Thane, so you place it in. Start reeling and reeling. You kind of feel a bit, and you do have to fight with the rod a little. As you start reeling and reeling before. On the hook, you have a small, one foot long river eel. Mm, river eel. Let's go. Oh, so close to getting Bengog the line breaker. Maybe next time. You could try again if you wish. Yeah, I'll try again. Yeah, again, 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 again. I want to go until I get one. <laughs> Let me try for a second before you try again. Uh, sure Melano, knock off one gold. Fane, knock off one gold. And then everyone who's playing, knock off another gold for this round. Alright, I'll knock off. I'm in this round. Let's go. Right, so let's see. Yeah. Everybody again. Are you joining in as well, Ben? Yeah, yeah. I now no longer have enough physical D20s. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I have uh, Bar Barlas, Cosmo, Bain, Cosmopolitan, Melano, and Exodus. Five D twenty. I got a roll here. Nice. Anyone want to know what the accumulative number was? Uh, seventy-three. Seventy-one. 58. 58, yeah, not bad. Uh, shall we roll? Zach, um... Okay, okay. I gotta write down everyone's numbers as they are. Uh. Your DC, if you will. Cool. Bane, as you cast off... <laughs> Why are you rolling with advantage, sir? I'll take, oh, your, first, I'll take your first roll of 13. As you kind of cast off... As you do, you fight, and you fight, and you fight with your bait. As it does, eventually, out from the water, you pull a mature, caressed carp, about three foot long. So it seems to wiggle on there, and she's like, oh, you're getting good, you are. Let's go Cosmo next. As you cast off you can, your you reel. Can do it. As you do, you feel a burning in your chest. Make the roll with advantage. You. Yep. Who's rolling with advantage? You. Oh, cool! My <laughs> chest is burning! A small burn seems to take from your chest as everyone notes a slight light. And you do. You know, plop it in, he's gonna sit there for about a minute or so. <laughs> there is unfortunately no bites on your rod. He's gonna bring it up Aww. to look. To be three of them have been caught, you know. Might scare them off. Fish are smarter, fish, fish, fish are smarter than you think. I have no clue how smart fish may or may not be. Barless. Is that a roller survival check? So you plop it in. As soon as you do, it pulls, it tugs in it moves off in all random which way directions as you try your hardest pulling it and pulling it eventually psh, the lane snaps uh oh and she looks oh that could have been a big one i'll quickly have to she's gonna takes it off and it's gonna start to re-hook it these things happen it's not your fault fish you know place the back yeah Happened to me a few times. Milano. This feels like something I could get addicted to, so I think I might try one more time before I stop altogether. For now. Milano, survival check. Okay. Natural 20, natural 20, natural 20, fuck. 
Not in you... this campaign, apparently. You're gonna pull it in. You watch as this seems to swim by before catching on to your hook, because it does. You immediately start reeling in as you do. The water, or eventually, and if you reel in, you almost had that cut. That carp, however, now has my hook. It takes it and starts rehooking it once more. I mean, it. how far away is the carp? They're in the water, like they're in this big bucket, for lack of a better term. We're like, oh, I see a big. Well, I mean, like you know, fucking like think like you know. Do you want the hook back? I, I no, it's okay. It's all right. I'll get them later. I have plenty of hooks because we have plenty of fishermen. <laughs> okay. Exodus. Just a bit, you know, looks like he's about to do something pretty epic. You know, wind does the windmill stretches and then, yep, goes goes to do it. Yes, you get it in. As it does. We are so bad at this. Uh, you watch this. This black, brown, spotted, long tendril seems to float by. As it does. Watches it grabs the hook, and as it does, you just get the and you're gonna put the brake on to it as you do, and start pulling and pulling. Eventually, you can't crank it anymore before the rod breaks. Three breaks in a row. Is that coming? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Eels. If it's a big, it's a big fish. Of course, it it will break the rod because the rods are very breaky. Also, eels. Uh, uh, like eels are, eels and we really slippery. We, we stack them and very. What's the, what's that word? Gymnastic. We 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 stack the deck in the wrong direction this time. Mm. Well, I think I don't know about everyone else, but I want to try one more time and then stop because I'll probably be wasting all the coins that I have. <laughs> anyone, else, anyone else for one more go? I'll, I'll, go one, I'll go one more go. For time is the charm, right? Hopefully. I am good. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah? It's, uh, I'm sorry, uh, but it's my, dex my dexterity for damage and attack rolls. Sure, I'll get you sorted in that one, man. Don't need to worry. Thank you, sir. Can you roll me an unarmed strike right now, actually, just so I check it? Mm hmm. That would also be for my short sword. Be Melano at the time to catch at least one. Um, 1d4. Only that was a survival check, so right? 1d4 yeah, no, no, no. plus. If you look at the damage there, mate, 1d4 plus 3, your dex is plus 3. And on my the dex attack. Is plus... yep, my you're... dex is plus 5. No, that's oh, plus it... five to saves. Is it? Yeah, you oh, proficiency in saving throws. I thought it was the uh, the number under it. If you hover over the three and the five, there's a little box next um, to the five that says save. I see, I see. Yeah, don't worry, man. So uh, as, as on both your attack roll and your damage roll, so. Thank you, sir. Well, Bebs. Looks like I only need to roll twice this time for people yep. fishing it, but I think that's going to be the last. I've already done the rolls as soon as you said yeah. we're going to do it, so I just need survival rolls from both y'all. And also knock off another roll. Fuck. Do you pull and rake and reeves? Start your hardest there, Cosmo. Eventually, whoosh, out wriggling. There's an eel with hey! two, two broken pieces. <laughs> In its Oops. mouth, it's gonna take. I'll take those. Thank you. Places it back in. Your job, Cosmos. <laughs> Yay! I got one. As you try and pull, you watch as this large, five foot plus creature, <laughs> as it does, as soon as you break on the line, just you watch it. Greater Carp 
are not the best, I'm afraid. It's, I am do apologise. Requires a, oh, worry. a little bit of luck with those ones. It was still fun. It was, it was quite fun. He's a little grandy. Um, would you guys like to go check some of, maybe some jewels? I want to try and sell this gem. Sure. Sweet. I want to go to like, if I can find a jewelers or someone tell us selling some sort of jewelry. Hey, this is this. How much would this be worth? I will say, for those who won, you do get given a little wood carved trophy of a oh, cool. King Fisher. Which you can add Sweet. to your sheet. I, I wrote down who failed and forgot to write down who won. Uh, I think me and. Fiend won? You won a carp? Uh, you said it was about three foot long. Roughly yeah. the size yeah. of a small guy. Then give yeah. yourself. Yeah. Give yourself that little trophy and you see I will just you know, right click add loot a uh, King Fisher trophy. Yeah. As you are looking around, I will see you do kind of see a shop a, a, a general wares type shop. The all manner of things in the window. The older man dwarvish seems to come hobbling out as he looks. Oh yes, how can I help? I would like to sell a gem, please. Oh, can I see it? Yes, you can. And he'll give him... Does he? He looks at it. Hmm. I'll trust you to provide me with an appropriate amount. I trust you and your skill for that reason. Let's make a pro... I'd say 45 gold. I've got to make a bit of a margin here. And also, I'd say... It's a rather uncommon gem. I've never heard of it myself, but I've, I've, I've got one other of them in the past ten years. Let's see, would that give it a little bit extra value or no? It is a very pretty gem. I would help. I'd like to help if he's trying to make a preservation check. Yeah, I'll be like, yo, you just told me that this was super rare. Would that make it more? Would that make it cost more? You can mm. roll the check with advantage, we wish. Oh, wow. I'll take the 50! <laughs> he looks at you. Again, for him. I am sorry, but I got one one of these 10 years ago, and I'm still trying to sell it. Alrighty then, I'm not going to be that angry with you not being able to make price. 45 gold it is. So I thought apologising, so you take that off, give yourself 45 gold? Oh, I forgot about the long rest, yeah. If you're dead, you were supposed to get back on long rest, guys, by all means. Uh, take it down and be like, um, is there any, like, interesting gems or pretty ones that I see? Like, well, like, a, maybe, like, a white one? Hmm. Do you see... Do you see a few... I know exactly you do see a few pearls. I know exactly what you're looking for. Don't, don't try to kid me. <laughs> 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 don't you fucking try. <laughs> yeah, you can do see a few... Pearls here and there. Um, Alright, then do I see any like bracelets? Or anything like that? Uh, there's one or two sort of golden lace bracelets, rather fine and intricate. I'll get two of those and see how much they are. It's kind of looks. Ah, oh, these things here are. Uh... I get 20 gold for both of them, they are. Fell out of fashion a little while ago. I'm sure you can yeah, put them to better use. Yeah, he'll, he'll give him 20 gold. He takes them both and gives one to uh, Mal. I believe it's tradition to give gifts to friends to celebrate uh, joining pie, yes? So thankful it is? did not say joining of houses. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that, asshole. I said party. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, it's, people have given me stuff in the past. Is that's normal? I'll stuff. So he gives you that, and he'll put it on his hand, and he just starts looking at all the shit, just as if what he did was normal. Well, so, so. thank you, thank you. 
You're welcome. It's nice to get gifts for people because I've gotten a lot of gifts from a lot of other people. <clears throat> Some coins I can give gifts to other people that I know. And it's nice to receive, so I assume it's even nicer to give. Where's my gift? I don't like you. What do you mean you don't like me? You don't talk to me and you called me weird. You called me weird first. You said you would eat my eyes. You said that I looked... Normal. Ow. Yeah, I didn't say I would eat your eyeball. Yeah, I admit they just look like orbs of ju- you know what, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. That's not a normal thing. Even it, I know that's not normal. I don't know what it is. I just see something. Yeah? I see something that shade of blue. I just want to eat it. I'll be right back. That was this. The discussion is going on. A thin gold bracelet. Okay. Is <clears throat> everything's going on? He watches guards, militiamen seem to start walking up north and you just take a look around, give the information. You know that the battle preparations are going to be starting soon. Mm -hmm. Um, are we going to be able to wrap it up anytime soon? Yeah, yeah, I'll be doing wrap on the other. Okay, cool. Yeah, anyway, um, I had to go for a sec. Oh, yeah, the guy talking to my eyeballs. Yeah, no. She's <laughs> disliked that. Oh, as I was really going to add, as you watch as guards are all headed towards the northern end of town, towards the gates by Thornwell Keep. And judging by the time, uh, you know, judging by this and looking around, you can tell that it is about almost 12 o'clock. Yes, we follow them? I don't know, I was just yeah. repeating that for uh, Cosmo. As you watch, as uh. Renard does walk on with them. That's, uh, I'll start following. Not as you are. Then we'll see. You are all walking up through. <clears throat> you just walk out town, take some time passing through woods and fields. You see that Vogler's parade of militia members and reenactment soldiers. Spectators all start following. You eventually arrive at High Hill, the grassy slope, spotted with trees and crumbled stone. Fencing near the base serves. It's a fencing near the base, several dozen soldiers Oop. marching in armor. Go lost, John. I think he's just got some bad internet right now. He does. <coughs> As you. Walk, it's it. Ah, da 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 dum bum bum. Because you are near the not, but you're in here at the time. As you are walking through the near the base, several dozen soldiers in marching armor stand in even formation. Contestants, sh contest the contest is striking between these mercenaries of the Ironclad Regiment and Vogler's militia. There are several pieces of mismatched armor in certain places with crooked helmets, but it does nothing to dampen people's spirits for the people assembled for the fish for the the people assembled here for the festival climactic reenactment the parade follows a trail to the top of the hill we see the mayor and cudgel iron smile meeting as you see as they're discussing the preparations and soon after Everyone breaks up. People start to take seats around and taking a look. As you just walk on through and look up, you see Raven, the mayor, and what was her name again? And Declan. You see, they kind of meet and hold little bags of gold each other and laugh. In an almost playful betting manner. As they do. You are met with an older man. As he looks. Do you wish for some armor or are you going in looking like this? If you're going in looking like this, you'll need a bib. 
I'll take I'm afraid. Armor. I'm afraid I don't know how to wear armor. So Me I as well. Have... I don't know either. Yeah, we're spellcasters, you know? The the squishy kind. <laughs> uh, I can cast magical armor on us. I cast I mage armor on myself already. I like... cast mage armor on myself as well. It is. I'll just do it now. Yep, you want to burn spell slots. <laughs> He's gonna put some bibs on you as he looks at everyone else who may be clad in armor. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, as I cast, I guess we can just describe it a little bit. Uh, you cast me to himself, like there's an outline of him now that's kind of like a, a uh, like a deep purple, like kind of glow. And um, you can tell that the way that his armor works, it's seemingly, when things get close, the gravity around it changes a bit. So uh, if you see like a, a random leaf fall down by his armor, you can you can see the leaf get like forcefully pushed away as it gets close or drawn closer to the floor with more gravity than it did before. Like kind of like a gravity field that makes it harder for it to hit. That probably looks like something like a silvery shine to her skin and clothes and everything with a little bit of sparkles that like make people distracted by the shininess or something. Prettiness mm -hmm. of it. Sleep. I'm so shiny, you can't hit me. The man <laughs> looks at everyone else. So, uh, you can take armor or you can just take a helmet. Uh, the helmets are the big differentiators, really. Your choice. I want to look as much... I want to get into as this as possible. Give me everything. <laughs> He's going to look at you. He gives you the appropriate armor for yourself, which I believe would be medium armor, given your... Subclass, your class and subclass, would I be correct? Oh, light man. armor. Gives you a nice set of light armor. As he kind of looks at yourself, Vane, Renard, and Baros. It's a helmet, so full armor. Your choice. Does, does, a, hel does a helmet um, mess with my monk stuff at all? Purely aesthetic, not going to do a thing. I'll take a hit. Gonna sit in the box, shoot your head, sit the helmet, turns it around. Good fit. <coughs> Next. Okay. Looks at yourself, Renat. Armor uh, or helmet? I think I'm good. Got my own armor. Need to, need to differentiate you out in the field, however. Alright, helmet. It looks. Get some paint, throw it on him. Grabs a helmet. Mm. Bends some horn on it a little. There we go. Similar enough and differentiates. Goes well with your arm and your look. You're going to bend it in such a way that it has a slight resemblance to the Knights of Salamnia helmet. Dashing. Feel it. <laughs> looks yourself, powerless. Armor or helmet? Mm. The helmet. Yep, get it back in. Good. Next! Jeez, what caught up? Everyone seems to be laughing, and after a period of time, the laughter and jostling after that to the mayor and Kudjo and all other spectators walking by to a vantage point. They do, the militia takes up their position atop the hill. The same hill the Salamic troops held centuries ago. They face the mercenaries of the ironclad regiment at the base of the hill, arrayed as the forces of Istar once were. Although the event is only a reenactment, a tangle of excitement fills the field. Somewhere on the line, a reenactor hoots and yells. Let's send these Historian rats running! A moment later, you hear a bah, 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 bah. Fire stars! Everyone yells. The leader, a tall half ogre among several mounted soldiers, screams. The mock Historian troops assault the hell around you. The Vogler militia charges to meet them. At this point here. I can't why can't I see the there we go. The white changing map to the Battle of High Hell map. 
two groups charging at each other. I would like someone, as you watch us in the fray, I need someone to make a perception check. I got oh. you, dude. I love that. Fuck the money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it? As the two groups charge, you see the sun glinting off the spear tips of the half ogre leader gesturing with a steel axe. As you watch, you look at the weapons that you had been given. And you hold them up to the sun and look. There are no reflections. So it does, you watch as the half will go. You watch as the axe splits a man's head. Uh -oh. As he falls to the ground. The unexpected sound of metal clanging and armor rings across the field, silencing laughter and melodramatic boasts. A ribbon of red splashes over the grassy hill, forwarded by shocked screams. Any pretense of a reenactment is shattered as an instant. High Hill is the site of a true battle once more. Within moments, all around you, armed mercenaries attack villagers fighting for their lives. Roll initiative. Holy shit, Taki Mushrooms. I don't see anything. I can't roll initiative. Yeah, I have put you all on this map so many times. And it's like, ah, yeah. it's like, Cosmo, do you see? Uh, yeah, I see. Yep. I, uh, I, I can see the floor. Yeah, oh, I see his gray. Oh, yep. Exodus is in there. Bane, you were here. Seven. Bellino. Battleas. Renard. I don't see my token. I don't see. If I put on fucking token vision, give me oh, a second. Yeah. <sighs> I've been having trouble with Chrome today. It's been a... <laughs> crappy. Oh We're off to a really great start, guys. <laughs> well, if I call it that, are you seeing now by any chance? Nope. Let me close this and try logging back on. Everyone else has seen though, right? Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> There's a ton of use without dark. Almost wow. None of use with dark vision. Nope. So yeah. Can't even say it's a dark vision thing. thing huh? What was that? They don't elves or they a legend don't. A legend do not. Does it mean an elf or dark vision? <laughs> so, a legend don't have dark vision. Nope. They do. They should. I they, yeah, they should. Every elf has it. Yeah. Why, does, why does Fane not have it? It's your I may, I could have deleted it. Mm, no. no, you do. Sorry. No, my bad. Um, it's I under click, creature type. I clicked on Exodus. There we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, they, 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 they do have dark vision. No, they no, I most definitely have dark vision. I don't play races without dark vision. <laughs> I traded my possible dark vision for advantage on intelligence, wizard, and Christmas saving throws, just in general. <laughs> Human, I play one of those in real life. I don't want to play it in a game. Yeah, I, I have advantage on all mental stats on saving throws. See, oh, let's try this one. <clears throat> Music wise, oh, beautiful music. So, uh, I don't know how to wait for John to be able to help you see stuff. So, see, you just find yourself in the middle of this battlefield. Adjacent to the log, you have very little opportunity to aid the villagers being attacked as three hostile mercenaries mounted on war horses appear. My dumbass did not put war horses down, believe it or not. Yep. You would say we absolutely do not have our weapons here with us, right? No, you do. You just would not have. You would not to have use them. them, like you know. You'd be told not to use them, and be obviously told to honor that one and give them fake weapons in their place. You know. So 
So it's more a... You do have your weapons. And just goes, man, that was some really good effort. <laughs> That's three of some really good to reenactment, yeah. <laughs> it seems so real. They're just standing, <laughs> just standing beside. Oh no, it seems. Jesus, so real. our our initiative rolls are putrid. I'll roll Eleanor, uh, right, Renard, and as well to be safe. Renard, highest yeah. on the initiative with a nineteen. Whee. The second highest is a seven. <laughs> we still need um, Baralus. Uh, yep, Baralus. Do you know how to roll an initiative, mate? Do you need help with that? Uh, I think. So. Well, I just roll the dice and then plus whatever my dexterity is. Right click your token. You're going to see the shield with two little X swords. If you click that. Yeah. And there we go. You are. That's Renard. That was Renard. Renard. Oh, still got the highest. Uh, so did you click the little... Eh, did you click the little shield with two swords? Uh, I can't find it. Sorry. So, here's your token. Right click your token. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so on your character right sheet. Side. Oh, yeah, okay. Over on your character sheet, you have any next to the shield. You can also yeah, click sword. Yeah. Yep, there we go. And then in the top right hand side, you get two little uh, swords. And there you're going to see your name with a d20. Click the d20 and that'll put you in initiative. Oh, okay. Okay. And then. Ah. Excuse my smoothest of brains. The number the there's a fucking compass there, and I still fucked up with directions because, of course, I did. As you watch as sprinting into the field, three men come with war horses. As it is, Renard, top of the initiative order, as these men come running in, jump off the horses. I will say right now, for anyone who enters into this particular area here, doesn't end well. Particular area where, sir? The flame areas. Don't touch those. Oh, those okay. are no-nos. Those are no-no squares. <laughs> I will advance on the closest. Take myself between him and my compatriots here. And this this man is not an initiative. Who I should put oh, this. Who is? The three guys at the bottom with the war horses. Oh, I gotta lay away to go then. Okay, so yeah, I'll give you your give you your action back there, obviously, you know. Thanks. Where's the ogre? Yeah. Not there We're yet. In. Okay. So these three down here are the closest threats. These three are the threats. I think I move 15 feet. I'm just gonna move here. And. Yeah. Wait for them to get close. Those three all the way down there with the horses are the threats. Yep, so, yeah. Down there, the compass. So, bim, 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 bim. Uh, did I announce your turn, man? Uh, that's it. Come. She watches this guard kind of dismounts the horse, and as he does, he does come running. He does spear in hand, or he throws it unto yourself. Renard no, just it does twenty two for six. Oh, that was it. Yep. Held action. Does that it... real pain you can feel. You can really feel that. And watches the uh, as it hits and catches you. Does the next man kind of dashes on up to yourselves? Does stands there spear in hand. Third one. Watch. As he hops the wall. Stands in front of yourself, Finn. Exodus. Hey, um. 
no one is right up close to one of the enemies yet, right? Or, or are these guys the enemies? These guys are the enemies. These ones? Yes. This All one, right. this one, and this one, if I, if I, if I think correctly. Let me, let me make it very easy. Oops, you took out one of the other. Oh, oh, these three are the enemies then? Yeah. Uh, I oh, didn't actually take out my guy. There. Don't worry, uh, I'll sort that in a second. He was... What, he may fucking... Yeah, there. And his initiative was... Say right 40, there we go. Oh. Kill. So Exodus, sweet then. I will select... You know, yeah, I'll uh, walk up. 10. Right? Action, no free action. Pull out. I'll drop the fake weapon. Free action. Pull out the rapier. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that work like that? I would. Have, I would have assumed as soon as you noticed that and the information was conveyed, you'd have dropped the fake weapons. Alright. Uh, I will take out the, the actual rapier and I will go for the the stabby stab. Yeah. Uh, let's see it. 15 for 8 will miss. Oof. Alright, bonus action. Disengage. Yeah. And then I will back up. Alright, here. That'd be my turn. Okay. Cosmo. Alrighty, then let's. Work some stuff out, shall we? And I will move over um, here, and I will attack this one uh, with a fireball. Um, he goes to use fireball, and instead of fire that you would expect to come out from a, a caster of fireball, he, he he lifts his hand up, and a purple like a purple bluish energy move from his eyes down down his arm and into his palm and he shoots it out to the guy and instead of like hitting him like setting him on fire for a little bit and doing a bit of damage or searing him it's like when the fire hits him if it hits him first let's describe that after i try and hit miss uh <clears throat> then never mind it just it's the fire lands on the floor somewhere and instead of fire like normal fire that goes upwards it seems to like the fire goes down instead then i know it's fast uh i'll get i'll get my uh familiar which i assume is on my shoulder uh fine familiar would require you to burn that spell slot I, would have, I i can keep him for multiple days no yeah fine familiar is a ritual yep. Until it dies, oh, or dismissed. Yeah, fucking these things with their fucking uh, ritual cast. Ritual cast is not a thing I'm familiar with. It takes well, also, which two minutes to also, I don't like, like uh, just and how it works. But yeah, you've got it there on you go. They don't um, have to do the ritual. Yeah, and I'm just gonna make him go here and do the um, help action, or to distract, or was that was that exclusive to? Um, I, believe, I believe familiars can use hit help action. Yeah, to, uh, to help. Yeah, okay, use help action. Yep. Yeah, just to just basically distract the fucking like bite in his ankles. Yep. Cool. Just distract him. Bottles. You stand there watching as these guards have came forth, and everyone seems to be taking their point as the battle goes on and wages around. We done. Um, it's a, it's eleven now. It's a bit late for me. I think I might pop off. Yeah. Uh, we're it was, it was midnight now. No, we'll finish. Yeah, the, yeah, you can jump. I'll play you for what it is. Sweet, appreciate it. And um, yeah. put your fireballs, and if it gets serious, silvery barbs to save people if need. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you to next week or whatever. Yeah, I'll see you this week. Thank you. I can. I can only imagine what we're hearing in the back room. Dude, what you're totally dead. If I hit you with a battle axe on your neck, <laughs> what the hell is that? Head? I have not done not moved yet. No, I was wearing neck armor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 30 right, foot of movement, 6 squares. 
so he's gonna move here. Yep. And then, is the do well, I already have my longbow out, or yeah. do I need to pull it out? You would, yeah, you would okay. have a longbow, you'd have just had fake arrows at the time, but then it's like, nah, fuck all pretense, we got real arrows out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, how do I do it? I click it on my hotbar. Right? Yep, and you're attacking the one in front of you? Yeah. You can have... Oh, it can With advantage? His he, help action? He didn't say who was helping, fuck. Uh... I'll give you its advantage, yeah. Uh, hover over the 13 and click. At uh, the plus. Nice. 24%, you can watch it. And they're gonna hit set of the guy, and they're gonna hear that screaming from as the arrow's gonna duck out. Did I answer your turn? No. Sorry. Cool. Well, no. This man stands in front of you, arrow and spear in hand. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fuck, fuck the, go the fuck away with, um, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen the stats in this game. Face, but... face tap? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna, like, go backwards over here. You do realise it's no. just, like, misty step, here. you can just click it and teleport. Okay, I'm gonna do that then. <laughs> <laughs> saves, saves your movement calculation. Did you, do, you said you're in winter. Um, and he was within five feet of me, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened of me until the next end, of, until the end of my next turn. He's good. Okay, that was the bonus action, right? So I can yep. still do a. Sp stuff. Then I'm going to... use... Firebolt. Yeah, yeah. And because it's still help, still helping... You can only help one advantage. creature at a time. Okay. So I give the help to Battleless, so it's just 24 for 6 is enough, however, as you... as you do. You know what, you get a nice... So even everyone's gonna look around and wonder what's going on. He didn't answer your turn. Um, no. Fail. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. As you. Whip out the shot. Well, 16 for 7 does hit. Uh oh. So you give him a screech and then you face step away. No, I did not mean to do that. Uh, just click somewhere like here then and then drag yourself back and then give yourself the short back. Then give yourself the uh, face step back. Okay. This is what I meant to do. One sec, uh... Options... As you... <clears throat> swing, swing, the eight, however, misses. Okay. As you're gonna watch as... <clears throat> you're doing it, what's your turn, brother? <clears throat> no. As it does, you just kind of hear this. Loose! <laughs> Renard, I require a dexterity saving throw. Of course you do. Oh, of course. As it does, you just kind of watch as, just, as a few arrows do hit you. Good news, um, this is going to all come through. Just going you know, to watch as one just lands directly in your foot. For one point of damage. <laughs> just a singular arrow, just. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to close this asshole down here and try this. He's going to bring it into him as he effortlessly dodges away, kind of looks at you. Eating grin on his face. 
Did anyone else you're talking about? Um, nope. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Over that scar here as he kind of looks at yourself, and as he does, kind of spins the spear and just just ram it right up in there. 17 or 4. <coughs> as you're kind of watching him in there and just twisting and grins, grimaces looking at the entire time. The one in front of you there, John, as he kind of looks, you know, with his, you know, with his fucking spear, kind of looks and as he looks like throw a jab, and as he does, just doesn't connect. He kind of like whiffs and no more. And kind of, hmm. Exodus. Okay, this is looking way too real to be a reenactment. <laughs> we'll proceed. To ba -ba -ba, what's that? Fifteen feet? Yeah, I'll go fifteen yeah. feet away. That's no issue. And then I'll give him the ye old stab. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen for six will miss. <clears throat> yep. And then I bonus action disengage and do ye. It's away. <laughs> that's that's my turn. Cosmo will over flavor a firebolt towards the one by Fane. Nine will miss. He will get the little thing move over here to give Renard the help action. Barrelis. 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 Ben. Ah, me. <laughs> um, does favored foe count as one action? Well, how uh, does it work? Favored foe. Good question. Rangers? It's a We're feature. Out. So you can just decide that's my favorite foe and just shoot and add damage to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll use put that on. Yeah. And then attack the what's the guy right in front of Fane? Yeah. And that's one. Is that one d four to damage or the attack or both? One d four to the damage. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Every the 13s kind of fire off and pssst, there's kind of yeah, goes low a little and starts skirting across the wall down the hill. Did anyone else your turn, man? No, what's up? Cool. No, no. I would like to target this one. Yep. 35 feet. Let's see. The help action has only been given to Renard. However, a 20 would still hit. Okay. Is he gonna final? Is he gonna dance and you're gonna watch the shield leather on it starts to burn and corrode. Do you know your terms? I don't have any bonus actions, so no. Okay. Finn. Alright. That's good. Lou. Tyler. No, Fate. What's, What's up? It's your turn. Oh, it is. Okay. Let's go. Well, Hetz, so you're going to bring. Why is the unarmed strike a sword? I'll never know. Is he going to bring it in? He's going to punch. As you do, you just kind of hear the. This man falls and he does just. This his head bursts open on the wall. Ouch. Did anyone else your turn? <clears throat> oh, no, I'm fine with that. Cool. Is there anybody else here that is of danger? Well, funnily you should mention that. As it just so happens, from out on the outskirts, you watch running from the fray of battle. Another man comes running out. This time, spear in hand. He kind of looks around and sees you as... Fuck! Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's still your turn, I do apologise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm gonna run here. Yep, move him to there, do you your turn? That's it. Cool. Then, as it were... Oh, out there. The guard who has just come in kind of 
obviously, you know, sees you moving as he does, twirls the spear and just throws it towards yourself. 17 for 6 as it does the spear. It lodges to you. We're <laughs> pulling it out as you stand in there grimacing and smirking. Renard, okay. you are being helped by the ferret. By the ferret? <laughs> Uh, nibbling on his paws. <laughs> you mean advantage? Yeah, that would give you advantage on this, yes. Nice. 21 for 9. Well hit as it does, you're gonna bring the sword in and cleft down this one. This guy screams as you. Did anyone else your turn there, man? Uh, I'm going to. Talk to this guy a little bit. And that's it. Exodus. I will proceed to shoot my bow at the only one remaining, right? The only one that you can see there, yeah. Then I will fire the bow. That That's not a hit. Let me make sure it took my... Uh... Yeah, it did take the arrow out. That is very nice. Um... Would a like a perception check be a, an action, or could I pass that as a bonus action? Uh, I'll give you it free. All right. I would like to make a perception check to see what the the field is like. Yeah, yeah. Like see what's going on, get a better sense of the chaos. Now that things are quieting down over here, I'm just talking as I'm looking for the perception. There we go. Uh oh. oh. It's not looking good, bro. Let's be honest. It's <laughs> it's look better. Yeah, alright, alright. That's my turn, thank you. That's alright. Cosmo, well, you know, <clears throat> looks at what's going on, reposition himself to a bit too close, you know, and then uh, once more over flavor of Firebolt. 18 for 2 does hit though, he's gonna watch as he. <laughs> as it does, he will send the better over to Renard. Be like, you know, hey guy. We can also actually remove things from this cookies we're not doing experience. Oh, there's a dead guard right there. Go. Baralos. Okay. Uh ba ba Baralos is gonna move uh <laughs> here. And then again shoot at the How do I do it? Just click it. Yep. 14 for 7 will, however, miss as you can fire that off and it go nowhere. Mm. Done anything else mm. you're done there? No. Okay. And then, as it does, Melano. I would like to prance over to just stand next to the ferret. Yep. Make a face at the guy and then face step away. If I, how high is this tree? Doesn't say. Let's say ten. Let's say ten foot. Can I like go up into the up into the tree? Face step up in the tr tree to somewhere like a safe branch. Yeah, I'd say the part without busting out the calculator. I'd say it matches. So okay. You stand ten foot high. Oh fuck me sideways. Oh, you were here, right? Let's see here. Here's a good one. As you get fucking just stop moving and do the uh, one zero. Well, as you are up, as you watch what happens, you see. You note coming from the fray in the northwestern side. Uh oh. More people incoming! This I giant hulking beast and four guards. As he's watch as he points towards Renard. Well Look who we got here. Someone uh, who thinks I still have still an action. Yep. I still have an action. I would like to um, Frightened, sacred by the way. flame. 
cool. Sacred Flame, the big ogre, and target this guy over here as well. Let's see. Sacred Flame on the big guys, you. He 14, so he does not see. And the other guy? Sacred Flame only works on one person. Moonfire! What the fuck is that, women? <laughs> Um, first level lunar sorcery feature. You can call down the radiant light of the moon on command. You learn the sacred flame spell, which doesn't count. When you cast the spell, you can target one creature as normal or target two creatures within range that are within five feet of each other. Right. See, if you're going to do that next time, put it in chat so I know. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, Moonfire. Sacred flame. Yeah, uh, sorry. Oops, forgot. Uh, where is it? No, not Sacred Flame, the other thing. Oh, uh... What do you where think is it's called? it? Moonfire is within... Oh. Uh, why is that... Yeah, why is that not been put down? Yeah. Uh, boom, 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 boom. So both of them make the same save and hope for the best? One failed, so... The other one also failed, so he would also take the four. We'll, we'll make that a spell for you. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, a, four? Are the, are the, a four? Are they resistant to Radiant? No, just you're using the same attack to target two people, so therefore we would take the first damage. Ah, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna, what's that? Uh, Moonbeam or something? Moonfire. I'm gonna add it because you kind of you're gonna watch as the guy ah he's the ogre yeah. starts to laugh. Did I announce your turn? I'll shout down to my acquaintances. Be wary! There's a big one coming with some guards. Finn. That's me. Mm. Finn indeed. You're fine. <laughs> Wait in bibs. Uh -uh. I will. I guess my darts. Yep. At the soldier guys first. Yeah, uh, fire a dart away. Mm -hmm. And is it this one here? I have seven misses regardless, actually. Mm -hmm. He's gonna and nothing. Then anyone else your turn? Nope. Okay. She so watches out of the fray comes crawling this one man whose eyes, one eye bloody, the other almost missing, leg missing, one arm. It's gonna crawling through, it's gonna lick before it just collapses down as he half ogre starts making his way towards is just thundering and laughing. The guard here who is frightened of Melano, uh, frightened he can't do anything whilst you're in visual. Like, he, he, disadvantage if you can be seen, correct? Yeah. And okay. he has to run away from me? If, I don't know. Mm -hmm. he, he can't get closer to me. Yeah, he, well, I mean, you ran away from him, so... However, since you are within rest range that he can see, he will you know, take a spear, as he does, go attack Renard. Seven will miss entirely Renard, however. <coughs> um, I'm going to try to finish this guy off. And you have advantage, right? He's been helped by the ferret. So I turn yeah. that 12 into advantage, my friend, but I have 24 for 12. Nice. A crit on a guy with 4 HP, unfortunately. You kind of... You carve him down. 
I love the fact you're not using experience this time. He watches the lumbering <laughs> thuds come through. Doing anything else for your turn there, my guy? I'm going to go up here between him and Renard. Renard? Hey, I'm Bernard. No. <laughs> That's it. Alright. So the guard here comes running and jumps the wall, runs towards Exodus, and he does spear in hand. And just stick it to you. 14, I believe, misses Fane. If I'm not, not Fane, uh, Exodus, if I'm not mistaken. A 12 is actually my AC. I, uh, I didn't have the sheet in Eucharist. Oh, you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you kind of take the hit there? The other guard comes running up to the tree. Gonna look it up, sees you as. Shit! Gonna. Steadies himself. Let's watch. Good day! Runs up towards yourself. He does. Takes his spear. It's barless. 22 for 4 will hit. Damn, you guys are rolling good. Yeah, they are. I am so scared of something that actually rolls with plus 3 to hit. It seems really bad because anytime I roll publicly, I roll shit. Faking it, guys. Faking it. So, watch this third one gonna come. A fourth one comes around as he does spear in hand and just. Whoosh, because you are so high up and a tree kind of fires off the. His only spear. And as he does, let's call him diseased. Misses Melano. Exodus standing in front of you. Two guys, one disarmed, one with a stab wound that he inflicted on you. Uh, this is not looking so good. So I'm going to try to stab the one I just tried stabbing before, the one that stabbed me. Yep. For a different one, I'm going to stab at him. Open for this crit. Oh my god. 15 unfortunately misses. And then I'll bonus action disengage. Yep. Smart. Bam, bam, bam. 15. That's what? Is that 10? Yeah, it makes you 25 fit. Yep, and then 30. <laughs> that, yep. That's my turn. Cosmo and looking around, well, he starts to just panic. He does imagine comprehend it takes comprehend language, doesn't take chromatic orb. Terrible. Uh it's gonna firebolt the ogre. 14 for who will hit? This Battles. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna move back about here. And then attack on my longbow. Yep. Attack who though? Uh, a two misses. But. Rough enemy. Ah. It was him. As. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna move off and just fire in the. Just with the swift moons as it misses. You don't know your turn? I'm not sure how, what, like, how, what else I can do. I don't know how many turns I get. Uh, if you have anything that's classed as like bonus action, you're able to do it, um, or you have your movement. So like, you've used your action, so there's nothing else that you can do at the moment. However, you know, if you wish to move or such, just before I move it on, you know. Ah, right, okay, I'll, no, I'll just, that's it. Yep, I'll end it. Melano. I will turn to the big, the big guy and Send down a chaos bolt. Oh, I hate this one because it reads funny. <laughs> do you, you do? Yo, uh, roll a. Is that just a standard? Yeah, roll a standard d8 for me, please. Sorry, d8. Um, it's a two. It's cold. Cold damage for eight. And another one d8, right? Was that sorry? Uh. So that's 2d8 of cold damage, right? Uh, if you roll the same, no, so yeah. 
Hold on. Make a range spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes 2d8 plus 1d6 damage. Oh, ah, so... Oh, I so throw pick... twice, I think. Ah, no, no. All right, so here's that fucker. It's so dumb. I hate this one. So, on a hit, takes 2d8. Choose one of those d8s between the 3 and the 7, and that's the damage it will, the big guy will take. Called the roll two. No, so your two d eight that you roll for damage, one of those d eights you pick is your damage type. Oh, three and two, fire and cold then. No, three and seven. You roll a three and a seven, so you can take either the three or the seven as your damage type. The three being fire, the seven being psychic. Oh, nice. So, do you want fire or psychic? Psychic. Phew. As you fire off the psychic for eight, you watch as it comes through, and you watch as its head seems to shake and its eye clenches for a moment. Where it oh, comes to, did I ask your turn? Um, no. Cool, Finn. Finn. He's Finn. No, take a right around here. Oh, uh, get like that, and take some uh, this. On the big guy, nineteen for six does hit. <laughs> Did anyone else your turn there? No. So it does is here from off in the fray, just this screaming. As it does, you watch this body of full plate comes running in, great sword in hand. As he does, as it does, it runs up to the ogre, slices up him. We're kind of turning around with a pirouetted flourish. You're kind of swinging round once more as he does. You watch as the ogre collapses and as the figure turns around, lifts up the face shield, kind of looks. Come on, quick! Let's finish this. Bernard. Darrett. 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 He has two attacks. Yeah, he, <laughs> he has the stat block of a champion. And nice. he just he just done some champion I love shit. Champ I love champion. Especially with Elven accuracy. Holy fuck. <laughs> Man, tonight has not been good. So you're going <laughs> to wing off and you do just amazed that this young man this young squire has been able to do all of this you s completely miss when I mean, the guard is gonna look at a highly trained man <laughs> can't get shit from out of a barn <laughs> the squire meanwhile the squire comes in two hits and kills an ogre <laughs> and everything else you turn <laughs> i'm gonna hide my face in shame i don't know what the hell to do <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> it's okay, man. They're putting stuff in the food nowadays. <laughs> the kids are stronger. You want to see? Guy comes running through, and he does the spear. Tries to stick it into Darrett. As he does, watch it go sing right off his plate armor. As he looks, come on. <laughs> The next card here kind of looks right. He psychs himself up. He does takes the spear, sticks it to Renard as he does um crits. Oh, Steel, silver barbs, silver barbs. Glad you called that one. Silver I barbs has to, to so call them on on crits. So sixteen. <laughs> so. You get the five, but he rolled two fives for four bars. I'm going to show you that one. Two fives. So you now have five health back. This one here kind of looks at uh, Cosmo as he does. We'll take the spear and just try to stick it into Cosmo. 22 for seven will hit Cosmo. The guard back here kind of looking. We'll just run towards Barlas as he does. 
No. Psyching up itself. Fist in hand. Oh, I say fist in hand. His hand is a fist. And roll, runs towards you as he does. Just... Just... Mess. It just grazes the hairs in your chin and no more. <laughs> Exodus. Also, um, he, Renard has advantage on his next attack. Nice. I just remembered the chosen Kush has advantage, so. Cool. Go in. Yep. Make my attack against this mother hacker. Oh, it's gotta be Kimmy. Bonus action, disengage. <laughs> I mean, That's my turn. You're the worst fucking rogue ever. <laughs> I will. Firebolt, the one in front, 12 for 10 will miss. However, his uh, ferret will give the help action to Fane. Battles. Man stands in front of you, unarmed. Uh, I'll move back a bit. Because I like to do that. He does, and he then... kind of takes a swipe at you once more as he does. 17, I believe, hits base. As he does, just you take a very, very light graze. It's kind of just and gets you in no more for one. Attack of opportunity. Gotta be careful about those. Yeah. Yeah. If you move five feet, if you move move out of an enemy's reach, he can get an attack of opportunity on you. Alright, okay. I just gotta to choose to take that. Yeah. Given they're unarmed, they'll only ever do one unless they have a spear. So yeah, so you're gonna move oh, out like, that like bumping. What do you wish? So to I could have moved do you mean I could have moved like one Square less than it wouldn't have. No, no, no. As, or, if there's a square between you and whatever you whatever you were in front of, if it's a hostile, it can take an attack of opportunity, unless you disengage as an action. But then you'd be unable to attack. So uh, as it stands, given you know you, so given you were all going to take one damage, though you didn't know that, smart move. But okay. also, if the guy has a weapon that has reached like ten feet, I think spear and the whip have. Or something, a javelin in a in a whip and tree. Hmm. I can't, but don't worry. Um, if, the, if, if the creature has reached, then it can hit you from further away. Yeah, cross that bridge when we get to it. Though. Don't worry, you're gonna pull back, take the bump, uh, and then use my long on him. Please. Why? <laughs> Why? This is not even funny. I'm. Um, to think that my character's never used a longbow before. You got a rogue that can't hit. You got the ranger that misses. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Did anything else for your turn? Crying, and then moving on. Same. Melano standing up high, watching this. Yeah, I will move to another branch, like over here. So I'm. And then bonus action flexible casting, get one spell slot back. Sorcery points, in, yeah. Yeah, just in case. So you're taking a first level spell slot back, yeah? And then I'm going to... Um, I guess... Guiding Bolt, this one, because I get one for free. Yeah, uh, you're just gonna fire off the guiding bolt. Seven think, for ten, just okay. Did I announce your turn? Just be blind. Mm, nope. Finn, you have advantage. You are being helped. Okay. Um, I guess this guy right here. Move forward. There's a weasel right there. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's a very small, nimble creature. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to doop, doop, doop. So, uh, the 18 hits for. Right, hold Wait, on. so we are, we are ignoring the short sword? Or just I didn't see that. So, uh, the short sword has advantage. So, you can short sword that. Uh, okay. To advantage, 12 is 12 misses, uh, 12 misses is Beno. 
17 for 5 will hit, however, as you're going to bring it in and follow up with an elbow to the face for 6 as you do. He's going to. Nice. Falls down. Did anyone else your turn, man? That's it. Cool. He watches Derek kind of looks around. I've got this. I've got this. Come on. So it takes the sword and cleaves the guy behind Bernard. So he does. Did not mean to roll that twice. That's right. Even though I can. We're going to pirouette him once more as he does bring it down to this guy here. 22 for 11. As he does, just cleaves him down. As he looks. Good one. Wow. Scary, you got it! And it points at the last one. So he does, he watches once more a volley of arrows come flying in. As it does, Exodus, can I have a dexterity saving throw, please? No, you're asking for my expertise. No! You kind of watch as these arrows, and they do. You just kind of manage to move out the road as he'll. You'll look. Renard, you have advantage on your attack that you wish to make due to Silvery Barbs. I also have a question. Yes? Uh, last round when I got hit with the crit for 10, she cast uh, Silvery Barbs. You, you get didn't. so you oh. got hit. You, you Let me finish. Oh. Let me finish. Of course. Sorry. She cast Silvery Barbs, which changed it to a 16. You only gave me 5 hit points back. Because I took 10 off? Yeah. And both damage attack so you were at 15 health i took 10 off which gave you five mm -hmm. your ac is higher than 16. it is there we go <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you took me a minute there <laughs> sorry there it's all right the thank you. <laughs> <and everything. laughs> just getting my point across thank you very much no nope, uh, it's on me i'm gonna maybe i can actually Fucking hit this time. You're gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fuck, are you bring it in and advantage. advantage and everything. An eight as well. You're gonna swing out as you stand in there. You're gonna just miss. Did I announce your turn? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fall on my own sword because <laughs> maybe I can hit myself. <laughs> Please don't. All right. <laughs> I don't oh. want to see any of my any of the other people I'm I know die. No, I don't have anything else. So the guard will take well, his you know, take his spear as he does. Is he gonna mess? As he you know, leans in as you're attacking. As he does, tries to stab Cosmo. He's gonna shifts out the road. No more Exodus. I will. Miss, bonus action, disengage and run away. Calling it now. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to I'm attack a... and I'm going to make it because I'm awesome. Yes! See, look at this. Look at this. That actually hits. Bra but bravo. Sneak attack. And then. Four. And then, then I bonus and... action disengage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like it's be called one. <laughs> As you do that, then Cosmo will and take a look around. If he does, he will pull back. As he does pull back, he does invoke another attack. <coughs> well, correct. He does well, silvery, silvery bars, bars. for oh, eleven. Okay. Yeah, reaction can take on his turn. Eleven will then actually miss. He does give himself Yay. advantage from there. Casts Fireball at the guy. Fireball's off 16 for 8. He's going to watch as he flicks it off. And as it does, just... Nice. As the battlefield falls quiet. Deathly quiet as the battle rages on before dimming through. As it does. Let's pick this up next week. Okay. Yeah, I I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry that went a little longer than it was. Um, 